oh fucking hell sorry there's a cat on me knee and she's trying to get on the keyboard i swear to god <laughs> you have picked the worst possible moment you have do you really have to be up here like right now <laughs> like literally as i press the start button you thought that was the best best point to jump on my knee did you uh-huh okay no 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 no. you can't go on there no 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 off the keyboard off the keyboard <laughs> hey i swear to god this started well hasn't it <laughs> you know what? i've got 15 million things going on at once here i've got bloody i've got two different group chats messaging me about completely different things <laughs> i've got people fucking emailing me about stuff uh, <laughs> i've just got so many so much shit going on and now there's a cat on me knee <sighs> yeah we've begun with uh off camera kit drama so um yeah uh <laughs> you're all gonna be sozzled in like half an hour sorry i'm just replying to messages that people are sending me and now my phone's telling me that i'm live on the internet yes i know phone i know piss off right okay i think we're good jesus christ it's been a hell of a week you know and the cat's gone okay <sighs> yeah it's been a week you know when you have a week and it's just a it's a week yeah <laughs> very much looking forward to my lion tomorrow right oh i've got me uh things on haven't i i've got me hoodie with the metal toggles on the end of the poojits and they'll probably bang off the desk and make noises okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello everybody YouTube is telling me that I have no viewers as usual but I know that's not true because Fred's here can always rely on Fred uh, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins I'm actually going to put you on the game screen this time yay look at me being a professional <laughs> we are in the fade oh isn't it pretty uh, I like how the sun still exists, even in the fade. And we're sort of at... This is meant to be Weissaupt, but it looks like Ostagar, which I suppose makes sense, because we haven't been to Weissaupt, so Dora wouldn't actually know what... Um, <laughs> what um, Weissaupt looks like, so it just looks like Ostagar, and that's like the Tower of Vishal. It sort of makes sense, doesn't it? And it's a weird sort of, like, you know, abstract dream, where she thinks she's in Weissaupt, and then she met Duncan, and Duncan was all like, Oh, the dogs born aren't a thing we have to worry about anymore. And she was like, I'm pretty sure they are. And he was like, they're not. And she was like, I'm pretty sure they are. And then she killed him. And well, anyway, yes, <laughs> the point is... <laughs> the point is... <laughs> um, uh, we're in the Fade, and we're going to do the Fade section today. It's very exciting, because uh, I really enjoy the Fade section, and I know most people don't. Or at least a lot of people don't. Maybe it's not like... I don't know. It's hard to tell what the vast majority... Um, sorry, I just need to rearrange me blind because the cat's messed it up. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of... I think the internet makes it hard to know what like the overwhelming opinion is of things because you just have to go off what people on the internet say. And most people don't actually go on the internet and voice their opinions. So, you know, everybody on the internet kind of goes, ah, oh, the fade section's horrible. But then everybody on, on the chat last week sort of said that they didn't mind it. So, I don't know. I mean, I know there was only like five people, but <laughs> they're the only people who matter. <laughs> the people who watch my videos, they're the only ones who matter. I don't care about anybody else on the planet. Right. <laughs> Okay, what anybody else thinks. Right, okay, should we get cracking then? Because we've got ourselves a fade pedestal with Oscar Valerian veins. I need to remember that they heal me because I forgot about that last time. We're a little bit short on the old health potions because I used them all when I was um, fighting a... Uh... Yes, Revenant. Still telling me I've got zero viewers. That's good. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> right, I'll drop a quick save even though I've not done anything since the last save. That's fine. Uh, click on the fade pedestal. Here we go, we've got lots of exciting places that we can go. We head to the raw fade. <sighs> Fred has just said, I love the idea of watching you do the fade section. You've already watched me do the fade section, Fred. It was the first video that I ever made on this channel and you were the first person ever to watch it. <laughs> and yes, we're, we've hit 301 subscribers, you're right. You're right, Fred, we'll have... Um, and I never got around to doing a 300 subscriber special. So do you know what? We're just going to wait until 500. I'll do a 500 subscriber special because, you know, we're in the big numbers now. Obviously, we're going to get to 500. <laughs> I'll do a 500 subscriber special. This can be the 300 subscriber special live stream, if you like. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No. It's 
see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. I mean, you actually just interrupted me when I was speaking there, which is very rude, Neil, but okay. Um, yes, what now? Trap, of course I did. What about my companions? Are they trapped too? Uh, no, let's just say, yeah, what now? Really nonchalantly, like, you know, this is just every day for me. I don't know. This place drains you of everything. Hope. Feeling. Life. Um, <clears throat> it's not too late, I'm sure. We'll find a way out. At least you're still alive. Um... Yeah, we'll find a way out. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path, but be unable to get to it. And it taunts you and drives you mad. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm embroiled in a group chat here, and I'm just going to have to quickly reply, because it's the kind of thing that I can't leave. Um... Um... Uh, sorry... <laughs> One of my workmates is getting married next week and my two other workmates have gone out shopping to get her like a, a put together like a little hamper for her and I, I didn't go because I'm doing this. <laughs> so now I have to give them their, give them my opinions on the stuff that they're buying and if I don't reply to them, all hell will break loose. Um, oh, they're asking me for suggestions of nice things to write in her card. I am so shit at stuff like that. What do you write in a, a, a work friend's wedding card? Come on, <laughs> I need suggestions in the chat. I know this is a Dragon Age live stream, but come on, I need wedding suggestions. <laughs> oh, and the bloody box office is emailing me. You know how I said I was going to see noises off? Well, they've given me a free upgrade because I was meant to be in the upper circle, but they're having to close the upper circle. So they're giving me a free upgrade and I'm right in the middle of the grand circle and they're actually it's actually a really good seat and to, to pay for a seat like that would be like 70 quid or something like that but it's a free upgrade and the seat I, I paid for was only like 20 or something. So she went, sorry we, we've just we, <laughs> we've just taken a slight detour from Dragon Age into like the real world for a second I promise we'll get back to our exciting fiction. Um um okay hang on hang on hang on <laughs> sorry this is definitely one of my live streams isn't it? <laughs> it's like, i just need to take a time out to deal with my social life <laughs> um uh Okay. <laughs> I can hardly write. I'm live on the internet. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> they don't know I do live streams. <laughs> um, um. Oh, that's quite a nice one, Fred. That's quite nice. I think you're the only viewer at the minute, you know. Uh. <laughs> I'm just going to say, let me think about it. Because <laughs> I'm preoccupied at the minute. I'm trying to, like, survive the fate here. God. Uh, okay. Okay. Is that everything? Right, okay, right. I'll just put my phone to the side now and just, like, ignore it. Right! <laughs> oh, right, well, what am I doing? Um, Nial was saying something. Yes, okay. Uh, this is probably, like, important or something, but I was otherwise uh, occupied. Um, could my companions be on one of the islands? Tell me about the protective ward. You mentioned obstacles. What do you know about the sloth demon? Yeah, what do you know about the sloth demon? Not much. I couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games and mortals serve as pawns, 
Perhaps even bargaining chips. The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Thage. It will not let us go easily, if at all. <coughs> um, if we work together, we can escape. I will have to defeat the demon. It's worth a try. I'm not going to wait to die. That is actually the kind of thing Dora is more likely to say. She's not really a kind of inspirational speech kind of a person. She's more just a kind of, you know what? I'm going to run at the bad things and I'm going to stab them with my daggers and hope that they fall over. That's the kind of person she is. Nothing dampens your spirit, does it? I don't know whether to admire or pity you. I mean, definitely admire. Absolutely admire. There's nothing worse than being pitied. Um, I'll be back. Can my companions be on one of the islands? Tell me about the protective ward. Uh, yeah, let's ask him all about the things... You know, while I'm waiting for the group chat to reply. <laughs> Mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. The silly thing fled before I could question it. Um, why would you talk to a mouse? Why did it do that? Yeah, why would you talk to a mouse? Because almost everyone here is a dreamer. Except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. Uh, yeah, let's ask about my companions. I, I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island. If you're lucky. Uh, tell me about the protective ward. I don't know much. I, I think the sloth demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the sloth demon. But you have to get to them first. I... I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. I'll be back. Don't mind me then. Okay, we'll just leave him there to, you know, wallow <laughs> in his own self-pity. Uh, okay, okay, so... Uh, why should we go first? Okay, so I'm gonna give you like a little tutorial. Little mini tutorial about how you do the fade. So when you click on these fade pedestals... Oh, a dreamer here is stopping this from working. Okay, we'll go and do this stuff first. Um. That's a good one, Fred. I quite like that. <laughs> quite like that one. I do think you're actually the only one watching at the minute, because like it's just telling me zero viewers <laughs> and zero views, which is you know it's obviously wrong about because you're here. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. We'll go and deal with this first, and then I'll, then I'll give you a little tutorial about the fade. <laughs> me, who's already forgotten how the fade works. Okay, we've got a rage demon needs killing, and we don't have Morrigan with our winter's grasp ability. <clears throat> And the rage demon set me on fire. Dora Bella is surprisingly fireproof, though. That did any damage to me at all. Uh, Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door, a door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my Okay, so he was probably the deemer, the, the deemer, the dreamer that was keeping me here. And now I can turn into a mouse. Yay! That's exciting. The thing I don't understand about this is, right, so the, the fade is like, um, it's like a dream world, right? So like, you know, none of it's physical. So they always say that like, I know there's a bit in one of the books where they end up in the fade and they're like, oh, why do we still have our weapons? Um, um, and I like because you think you have your weapons, you know. So it's like, you, and you look human because you think you look human. And if you you just think you look a different way, obviously Dora looks like a dwarf. Um, if you think you look a different way, you would look a different way because you know it's it's a dream world. So you, yeah, you know whatever you think is what actually is, you know. <clears throat> so she's learned how to become a mouse, right? But surely once you've learned how to take another form within the fade, you can then just take whatever form you want. Because she'll become a mouse because she thinks she's, she's a mouse. Right? So then logically, she could at that point, you know, become whatever she wanted because she's in a dream world. 
It just seems weird that you like you, should spe you learn specific forms rather than just learning how to take whatever form you want. Seems weird to me. It's the Black City. Oh, I do love that you can actually genuinely see the Black City when you're in the uh, when you're in the fade. I enjoy that. Uh, okay, so is there anything up here? No, there's nothing up here. This is one of those bits where like there is never anything up here, and I always come up here to check if there's anything up here. Never fucking is. Okay, so uh, head down here. Turn into me little moosey. Through the mouse hole. And uh, oh, I've been a. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the chat. <laughs> Got distracted. Um, can I use dirty fighting on a demon? Will that work? No, I didn't think it would. <laughs> didn't think it would. Uh, down it goes. Okie dokie. So, is that everything? That's everything. There's a disturbing statue over here we can click on. Uh, uh, we're kind of close to a level up, actually. Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> but I'd let you know we're very close to a level up. Still saying I've got zero viewers. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's a spirit door we can't get through yet because we are not a spirit. We will be a spirit. Soonish. Got to keep on the keep an eye on the map quite a lot when you're in the fade because it'll tell you things like where spirit doors are and stuff, and fade portals. And it is easy to get kind of turned around and stuff like that in the fade. So uh, you know. Um, God, this guy's taking a bit to get down, isn't he? I don't know where everybody is, Fred. I don't know. They've abandoned work. That's when. <laughs> anything on this weekend <laughs> anything happening i mean it is a bank holiday weekend over here uh oh my spell oh my spell oh that's interesting she can't get the luring vein for some reason oh my spell i don't know why she's saying oh my spell <laughs> whatever uh yeah that's all right fred me and you are enough man we don't need anybody else until somebody else turns up and then I'll be like, oh my god! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right. They'll be here, man. They'll be here. I, I have faith. Uh, can you take that? No, she can't use the Lyrian veins. I know why she can't use the Lyrian veins. She's a fucking dwarf, that's why. Is that a thing? I don't play as dwarfs very often. I mean, you wouldn't think that would be a thing in the f Actually, how is she even in the fade? She's a dwarf. That's a really- that's a- they, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a plot hole. But she can't use the Lurian veins. Which is either a bug. I'm trying to get away from this demon so that she'll put our swords away and that our, uh, our health will regenerate naturally since the Lurian veins don't work. I wonder if it's because she's a dwarf or if it's just- if it's a bug. I don't know. Let's nip back through here a second. Oh, I can't do that while I'm coming off. For God's sake. There we go. Put your swords away so your health can regenerate. That's the only thing I can think. Either that it's a bug or it's because she's a dwarf. But then if they're going down the route of she can't use Lurium to heal herself because she's a dwarf, then how the fuck is she even in the fucking bed? That doesn't make sense, does it? No. <sighs> anyway. There we go. We'll go and deal with this demon up here. That, that's going to make things a bit harder, actually, if we can't use the old Lurium things. Hmm. Uh, no, 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 don't go over there, love. Dear me. There we go. There we go. It's um, <laughs> just burning to death a little bit there. Um, um, just reading what Fred's written. Uh, to be fair, I think it is a little bit much to expect people to watch two live streams a week every week <laughs> like i wouldn't be that dedicated to any youtuber and i know there are youtubers who have viewers who are like that dedicated but they are like a small majority in a vast amount whereas i only have like a small amount to begin with so you know it's not i don't think it's that um strange really that you'd have the odd live stream where just nobody turns up um Right, okie dokie, so... Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? 
I turned into a mouse. Nothing. Mind your own business. <laughs> no, I turned into a mouse. As you do. Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? Mm. Hang on, I'm having a drink. There we go. Um, right, hang on. Me, me, <laughs> me group chat's just thingied again. Uh, okay. Right. Um, hang on. Hang on. I just need... I, I need to reply to these. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but we, we need to get this shit sorted because it's our last uh, shift on Monday before our wedding. Um... <laughs> right, okay. Okay, okay. And you wonder why nobody's turning up, friend. <laughs> You have to deal with this shit every live stream. Right, okay. Uh, I thought you'd give it up. Why so excited? Yes, it was easy. Yeah, it was easy, man. It was easy for somebody like me. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Okay, I've just had a thought, actually, about the thing about Dora being a dwarf and still being able to come in the fade. I wonder if it's because she's a... Um, Grey Warden. I nearly said Archdemon then. I'm fairly sure she's not an Archdemon. Um, yeah, I wonder if it's because she's a Grey Warden and she's got like Grey Warden blood in her. Um, and if that give a cause, you know, I, they, they do something like magic to the blood, don't they? That you drink. And then, you know, you know, st stuff happens. Maybe it's got something to do with that. Actually, there's a really interesting bit in um, ha, 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 Soldier's Peak when you're talking to Avernus and he's talking about the Darkspawn team and he's talking about demons and blood. He says something like blood magic comes from demons, right? So they have like power over it. But the Darkspawn taint is something that they can't, something that's like beyond their control or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he says. Well, we'll see when we get there. And it, it's just a really interesting thing that never gets mentioned ever again. And I'm just like, uh, I, 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 I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm just, oh, we've got two likes. We must have a second person because I haven't liked it myself. I haven't stooped that low. <laughs> um, uh, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's just a really interesting thing that gets mentioned once and I was like, I've always wanted it to be expanded on. And he sort of hints that there's like secret abilities that could be unlocked from the, you know, the uh, the Darkspawn tape, which obviously, you know, we know there is because there's a potion you can drink and everything. But, you know, I just want more about it. I want more about it, man. Anyway, um, that's enough for me blathering on. Um, okay. It says three likes on your screen, does it? Fred, you, it seems to update you before it updates me. <laughs> More important that you know how many people are watching than me, apparently. <laughs> um, 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 what am I doing? Right, okay, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how the fade works now that we've got access to the fade portal. Right, so here's what we're going to do. These are all bits of the fade that we can go to, right? And in each one of those sections of the fade, do you know what? I can just... <sighs> one of my cats has just used the litter tray and I can just fucking spell it. <laughs> it has wafted through <laughs> the entirety of the flat. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> really fucking bad as well. <laughs> Like, Jesus, man, did you have to? Just clean the fucking thing out as well. Anyway, yes. Um, so in each one of these little bits, include this, including the, 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 including this bit where we are, there's a demon. And we have to kill the demon in the bit. Um, uh, does that count as off-camera kitten, off kitten drama, really, Fred? 
<laughs> you just like an excuse to drink, don't you? Really fucking bad, actually. <laughs> I go and get the air freshener. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, in each one of these is a demon, and we need to kill the demon, and then it'll open up more pathways. And we and these are little islands that we can get to where we can save our companions. And then once we've done all of that, it'll open up the middle bit, and we can go and kill the boss guy. But there's also other forms that we need to um, <laughs> that we need to um, collect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go round each one and we're going to get all of the forms that we can um, turn into, which is Gollum, Arcane, Horror, and another one, Burning Man. And then we're going to go around all of them again to open up all of like the secret um, areas that you can only access with each one and kill all of the demons and everything like that to make sure that we've got everything. <sighs> That's how we're going to do it. Um, I can't remember what order I usually do it in. I know it's like Burning Tower first. And then is it Majors Asunder? Can anybody remember which one it is that doesn't actually have a form in? Um, Whale's Friend is here. Hello, Whale's Friend. Um, there's what I... Oh, I had this memorised. Like, what is the best order to do it in? Because I know, like, you go to the Burning Tower first and you get the Burning Man. And then you go to the Mages Asunder because the Mages all use fireballs, right? But as the Burning Man, you're um, immune to the fireballs, right? So it's actually, it's a clever tactic to do it that way because, you know, um, Burning Man is the, the ideal form to take on Mages Asunder. Um, um, Oh my god, we've got more people. We've got more people. See, I told you they'd turn up, Fred. You were worrying about nothing, man. <laughs> um, um, and then in Majors of Sunder you get something as well, but I can't remember which one it bloody is. Is it the Golem that you get in Majors of Sunder? Yes, and then you go to Darkspawn Invasion because the Golem's really good for taking out ogres. Now I remember, and I think there you get the Arcane Horror, right? Am I right? <laughs> um... Uh, oh my god, everybody's piling in. You were right, actually, Fred. You know what Fred said when we were, we were going like, where is everybody? And Fred said, they're all going to pile in at once just to really freak you out. And he was right. <laughs> um, Uh, you thought there was only one order possible? Uh, there, no, 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 no. There's not only one order possible. You can do it in numerous, numerous orders. I always do Burning Tower first. I mean, it depends if you want to finish every single level. Because what I do is I get Burning Man, and then I get Gollum, and then I get Arcane Horror, which I think is that one. I'm sure it is. Um, and then I go round them all again to make sure I unlock all the areas and stuff like that. Anyway, we'll go with the Burning Tower. I've waffled long enough, I think. Um... Oh, yeah, everybody's turning up. We've got loads of people now. We've got loads of people. It's still telling me I've only got one viewer on YouTube, like, but you know, not worry about that. Okie dokie. So, one very important thing to remember when you're doing the fade. Look at the map. Check the map often because the map will tell you things like mousy holes and stuff like that and it'll show you. You know, you can kind of... People think that the fade's really complicated and, and confusing, but it's, it's not. And it seems like it is, but it's not really. It's a lot more linear than what it, you know, looks like. So you can see there we've got a mousy hole, which is almost certainly going to lead into that mousy hole, which is a secret room which will have, you know, a thing in it. So with this mousy hole over here, turn into a little mousy, go through the mousy hole, and there we go. We have got Essence of Cunning. Uh, and then there's nothing else in here, is there? No, so we can go back through the mousy hole. And now we've got a permanent plus one increase to cunning. Very exciting, especially since we're a rogue. That litter tray fucking stinks. <laughs> oh. If you've only just arrived about five minutes ago, I said one of the cats has used the litter tray and I can fucking spell it. It's on the other side of the flat. It's not even in the same room as me and it fucking stinks and it's all I can smell and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> um, right, okay. <laughs> I can tell which one it is that's used it as well. You know when you know your cat so well, you know which one has been to the litter tray by the smell of it. That's a, ter that's a terrible thing to know. I never wanted to know things like that. 
Magpie is the only person that thinks this section of the game is easy to navigate. It is easy to navigate, man! <laughs> um, oh yeah, and apparently I, I can't use Lurium Veins and we don't know why I can't use Lurium Veins and I'm wondering if it's because Dorabella's a dwarf. But then we started to wonder um, uh, why she could even be in the fade if she's a dwarf. And then we started to wonder maybe if it's maybe it's because of the... Uh, you know, the, um, yes, the Grey Warden-iness of her. Maybe being a Grey Warden gives her a connection to the Fade somehow, but I don't know. She can't use Lyrium, apparently, which is weird. Anyway! <clears throat> um. Okay, so, hang on, hang on. I'm going to try to get around behind this guy. Stab him in the back a little bit. Um, taking on multiple enemies might be a little bit tricky. Um... I mean, once we've got some of the forms, it'll be better. Because, you know, like, when you're a golem, you're pretty much invincible. Just while I'm just little old me, um, I might get a bit battered, you know what I mean? <laughs> um. <laughs> Are we finished discussing cat poo yet, says Fred? No, of course not. <laughs> 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 I'm going to deliberately discuss it more just to annoy you. <laughs> um, right. Uh, then how would you explain Ogryn in the Fade? That's true, actually. Because Ogryn can go in the Fade as well. Unless Ogryn isn't actually in the Fade and he's just a figment of your imagination in the Fade. And he actually just like gets knocked out and is just having a lovely nap. I mean, does he mention the Fade after he's come out of the Fade? I don't know. But I might just be, you know, imagining that he's... I mean, obviously, I, he's, I don't have him yet, so I, I'm not going to be imagining that he's in the Fade, but, you know. Um, if you have him and he, he's, he's in the Fade. Um, um, right, I'm going to go through this mousy hole. Should I go through the mousy hole or should I go around the long way? We'll go around the long way, shall we? Because you can see that mousy hole connects to that room there. And you can go in through that door. And that'll probably be easier, I imagine. I'm just trying to show you that it really is easy to navigate. It is, as long as you just check the map a lot. It's not that bad. Maybe I've just played it too many times. Um, oh yeah, there's nothing in this room, isn't there? I've forgotten there was nothing in this room. It's just an oddly empty room. Um... Templars. Oh dear me. Uh, <laughs> what people are writing in the trap. Just debating dwarves in the field. Ooh, oh, that was a good kill, Dora. That was a good one. Took his head right off there, love. That was great, that. That was dual striking. I didn't want dual striking. I wanted that one. Deadly strike. And she's out with stamina. Um. Uh, oh, you do keep right. Um. Yes, yeah, so I really can't use the lyrium moves. I don't know why she says, oh, my spell. Like, you don't have a spell. <laughs> but she can't use the Lurian Veins for whatever reason. And um, that's a door we can't get through because we need to be a golem. And there's nothing through here, is there? No, except flames. Right, okay. So, head up here. Uh, oh, it's this bit. I hate this bit. Burning hounds. Come on, hounds. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Stop these dogs to death. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> uh, we've got such a lovely group, haven't we, watch these live streams. They're just so friendly and nice. I love it so much. There we go. 
Drum Blast comes back quite easy because you you know you're on your own, so the enemies are easier. You don't get that much experience from them, which is sad. Uh, right. Target practice anyone? So, uh, <laughs> more things to start. I did warn you last week that the combat would be a bit boring with it only being Dora. Oh, I'm being swamped, man. I can't be doing with like two doggies and a Templar. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, we do a bit of dirty fighting on him. And we'll get round behind him. Stab him in the arse! Because that's how high Dora can reach. And take yourself a little health potion, Dora. Take out the doggies! Show them no mercy, she shouted. <laughs> Don't know who she's shouting at, just herself. Shouting encouragement to herself. Take another health potion. Uh, uh, yeah, you keep stabbing, love. And there we go. Okie dokie. Just gonna let our health come back a little bit before we uh, run into any more trouble. Okay, so we go through here, don't we? Oh, hang on, hang on, don't turn into a mouse yet! The dogs will eat you! <laughs> eat you in one bite! I can't believe I forgot about those dogs. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. 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 Read in the chat. Read in the chat. I'll tell you what's interesting about reading the chat is sometimes there's like three or four conversations going on at once. And you're not always 100% sure who is replying to who. <laughs> and sometimes, like, if you think one reply is meant for one conversation and it was meant for a different conversation, and for a minute your brain goes, eh? <laughs> uh, right, okay, we'll head through this mousy hole. Through the mousy hole. Uh... <laughs> You're all just crying about me killing the fade dogs. <laughs> Uh, right, now we just need to kill this Templar Dreamer. Bet you won't cry about me killing him. <laughs> Somewhat unbothered by the death of Templar Dreamers. But fade doggies! <laughs> uh, these demons go down so much quicker than, like, everything else in the fade. You'd think the demons would be, like, the strong ones, wouldn't you? But no. Um, like he's much stronger than that demon was. That's just weird, right? Take another health potion, Dora. We are getting through these health potions, mind. We've got a fucking boss battle to get through before the end of this, man. And then we've got another boss battle after that. Hey, dear. Here's a question, right? These, uh, these uh, health potions that we're using, when we come out of the fade again, we're not going to get them back. So she's actually physically using physical health potions. In the Fade, where she's not, like, physically in the Fade, she's only mentally in the Fade. She's somehow managing to use the physical health potions on her physical body while she's mentally in the Fade. How does that work, Bioware? Yeah! I should just have infinite free health potions. That's what I should have. <laughs> um, okay, dirty fighting him. There we go. And then get round here and stab him in the arse. Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, he stunned me. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. I'm meant to stun you, not the other way around, love. <sighs> I've just uh, I've just seen the hot dogs joke. Very good. I actually saw the hot dogs joke a while ago, and it's only just twigged in my brain. <laughs> I am free. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards sloth. He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way. Okay, and now I'm on fire. Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. And I got a level up. Yeah, I I, uh, I saw that hot dogs joke and I didn't really think anything of it. And then like five minutes later, my brain just kind of went, oh! <laughs> I'm a bit slow on the uptake today. Um, and every other day. Oh, oh, oh specialisations. I was going to think about that, wasn't I? And pick one. I can't, I can't, I can't remember. I can't, <laughs> I can't 
can't remember. What specialization should I pick? Come on, guys, give me your opinion. <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah, okay, let's put what points in. We'll put two dexterity, one in cunning. Um, I think we'd ruled out Ranger, hadn't we? Because it didn't really make sense what without being a, a dwarf. I fancy duelist, you know, I quite enjoy duelist. Um, yeah. You kind of think what goes well with Duelist. Duelist and Assassin go quite well together, don't they? Yeah, we'll go on Duelist, actually. Go on Duelist. There we go. Um, and then what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Um, combat training or poison making? I haven't done much poison making yet. I don't think we really need expert poison making until a bit later on in the game. We do wear combat training. Always useful. Uh, right, okay. Do we want lock picking? Which I think is going to be kind of ne n a, a necessity because I don't think we're going to be bringing Liliana with us that often. Ooh, cripple. Mm. Is cripple one of the things that shatters people who are frozen? I can't remember. I know there's one of these that shatters people who are frozen. Might be cripple. Um. Just go lock picking. That's a safe bet, isn't it? Yeah, go lock picking. Okie dokie. So, um, right. Okay. So we've now got Burning Man. So we could like carry on a little bit here. I mean, we can't actually go any further because we need the golem to go further. But we're just gonna nip straight back out and go to Majors of Sunder, which I believe is where you get the golem. We're gonna get all of the forms first, <clears throat> and then we'll focus on killing the demons. Right. Ooh. Oh, we've got many ways to go here. So we've got a mousy hole there, which is probably going to lead us over there. We've got a massive door there that we can't get through, and we've got a mousy hole there, which is probably going to lead us there. And we've got a door we can just wander through. We'll go through that mousy hole first. The one at the back, because that's obviously leading us into a secret room. Uh... You need lots of willpower to pull off Duelist and Assassin, do you? I'm not very good at specialisations, you know, I, I, and sort of like, you know, levelling up people based on the specialisation and stuff like that. I mostly just level up everybody the same. <laughs> Which is why my levelling guide was like basic beginners. It, it was specifically for people who aren't that interested in like all of the numbers and stuff like that. Because I'm, I'm definitely not one of those proper nerdy nerds who really gets into the numbers. Because I just don't have a mathematical brain, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> just my brain just doesn't do maths. And I think when levelling up systems are, are heavily reliant on stats and numbers and stuff like that, it can sometimes be a little bit intimidating. And Dragon Age is the kind of game where you can get really into the numbers if you want to, but you don't have to. You can quite easily become very good at the game, just like with very, very basic knowledge, which is why I did a basic levelers leveling guide you know was specifically for people who don't need to get that <laughs> into the yeah uh, into the um yes numbers and whatnot should we go through this mousy hole here i believe this actually no because i think that leads us into a room with lots of majors doesn't it and i think it's actually easier to do it around this way in fact we're going to go into burning man form because i have a feeling that they just launch fireballs at us uh, 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 sorry, I was reading the chat and I got I got <laughs> got distracted. Um, okay, 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 okay. We'll launch a fireball at you two. Um, oh, they launch lightning at me. That's not fair. I specifically went into burning form so that I would be immune to fire, and they launched lightning at me. <laughs> anyway, we still got them down easy enough. So yeah, that's why it's a good idea to get Burning Man before you come to Majors Asunder because they do use a lot of fire against you and it's good to be immune to fire. Not, however, immune to lightning, which is, you know, unfortunate. But uh, there we go. <clears throat> Still can't use these, can I not? No. <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, 
just read in the chat. Don't mind me. Right, okay. So, over here, more mages. Oh, they're rejuvenating each other. That's not fair. <sighs> they can heal each other as well, little assholes. There we go. Knock them off their feet. And then just do a nice flame blast. Uh, there's five in the chat and only two people watching according to YouTube. Yeah, it's saying that I thought there's only two people watching as well for me. It's saying I've got seven views though, so I don't know. Maybe there's seven people watching. I don't know. I don't know. Now, that looks like... Yeah, so this is one of the annoying ones where, like, it's obviously a thing to give you extra attribute points, but you can't click on it unless you're in spirit form. <laughs> so you have to wait until you get spirit form and then come back. Um, and th I think that was a mistake on Bioware's part, to be honest, because it just means you have to come back. You, you have to kind of go around too many times, you know what I mean? It's just like you have to go back to too many places just because you have to be in spirit form to activate it. And then, you know, it's just that was one step too far, I think. These mages are just, um, yeah, kill everyone, yeah, okay, how delightful. <laughs> They've gone a bit fucking mental, bananas, because they're trapped in the fade, but that's alright. Uh, we just launch a big fireball in at everybody, and they're attacking each other as well, so you know, hopefully they kill each other. Um... Uh, oh, he launched a fireball at me, and you know what? It didn't out because I'm immune. And then he launched lightning at me, and it did a lot because I'm not immune. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna launch a fireball in his fucking face. There we go, and you survived. That's not fair. And you died. Excellent. <sighs> okay, so head through here. And we've got servants. I wonder if these are like actual servants who have got trapped in the Fade or if they're just like... I mean, it's hard to know in the Fade like what's real and what's not, isn't it? Because I assume that like the crazy mages are like actual mages that are stuck in the Fade and have just gone a bit mental because apparently they're not as mentally resilient as me. Um, but like uh, things like this and like the Templars and stuff as well. You think are they actually Templars who are trapped in the Fade or are they just like... Are they little, like, shades or demons or something masquerading as Templars? Like, you know. Who knows? Who knows? I can still smell that fucking litter tray, you know. Cat <laughs> say. Right, okay. Get this servant down if at all possible. You know what? Just launch a fireball in his face. It won't hurt me. Knock me off my feet, but it won't hurt me. I love the fact that when they're literally burning to death, they're still running at you trying to kill you. Like, you would not. That would be low on your priority list, wouldn't it? If you were literally burning to death, <laughs> you would not still be running at your enemy with your knives out, would you? <laughs> right, okay, let's go through here. There's fire, and there's going to be a lot of rage demons in a minute. Wait, okay, there's going to be two, and then after I've killed them, there'll be another two. <laughs> but, you know. Um... <laughs> they went so easy. I can't believe how weak rage demons are. Like compared to everything else you face with the fade, the rage demons are just like so weak. Because anger is weakness, probably. <laughs> there we go. I'm immune to the fire, love. Stop trying to kill me with the fire. Oh, okie dokie, is that it? Is there going to be a, a, a secret fifth one? No, that's it, okie dokie. Head through here. Oh god, yes, these are the terrifying mages. They're all trying to kill each other, but there's a there's a chain lightning one at the back somewhere. And it's a right fucking... But chain lightning is the worst one. Absolute worst. I also don't think I can use my... Uh, um... What should we call it? Health potions while I'm in Burning Man mode. Um, I'll just run away a little bit. Health's getting a little bit low and I can't use the fucking Lyrian veins. Um, 
just briefly come out of burning man mode, take a little health potion, go back into burning man mode, because you're launching a fireball at me, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, these mages are a bitch, uh, I'll be honest. Um, oh, I've got no fucking stamina. Well, that's no good at all, is it? Oh, let's see if I actually can't. No, I can't use the health potions. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Health potion, Dora, health potion, health potion, health potion. And then, oh man, there's two of them. Go back in a burning man. I know I'm not immune to the lightning. Oh, I just want the fucking fireball. How much fucking stamina do I need for the fucking fire? Uh, breathe, breathe. Oh, I'm so gonna die. <laughs> okay, just get this idiot down. I swear to God. Go down. Right, okay. Run, 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 run. Go back into Dora and then more health potions. And then, I don't know. <laughs> Got no stamina. There's no such thing as a stamina potion in Origin. Um, use your flame blast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, die, there we go, fuck me, man. is there more, I think there's probably more, wait for me health to come back, <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> uh, a lot of swearing went on in that fight wasn't it, <laughs> I've had a difficult week alright, been very stressful <laughs> you know when you get to like the end of the week and you're just like oh, fuck that week's over it's been that kind of week you should have seen what all at work today we were just like on on my department we were just like nobody had any motivation whatsoever we were just so done it's just been that kind of week that you get to the end of it and you're just like you know what none of us could be fucked anymore <laughs> oh dear um I find this quite good uh, therapy though. <laughs> Doing a good old uh, live stream. Ooh, they've got quite nice looking food considering this is meant to be a, a horrific nightmare. These two are killing each other. Who's winning? Oh, they're pretty much at a par. Who's gonna win, do you reckon? Ooh, Lady Girl won. Lady Girl? Yeah, we'll call her that, why not? And then she's gonna get a fireball in the face because the best kind of kill is overkill. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of a nice banquet going on here. Lovely. I mean, you know, it's a bit barbecued, but who doesn't love a bit of barbecue? There's fishies and uh, other things, probably. <laughs> I mean, those are like whole fish. Like, I feel like they should have been gutted and cooked, you know, but... <sighs> um... Uh... Just reading the chat. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, um, <laughs> you guys crack me up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> you know how I've got on my starting screens, I've got like 100% professional, right? I might change it to Magpie to Insignificant Account. <laughs> that might be my new tag. Like, ah, that is my slogan. <laughs> to Insignificant Account. <laughs> 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 right, okay. Head into here. Oh, this is a fun room. This just turns into a fucking inferno, doesn't it? Come on, everybody! Come on, where's the inferno? I know it turns up eventually. I mean, that was just a fireball. I know there's an inferno at some point. Come on! I want the inferno! I'm here for the inferno! <laughs> Maybe you have to be on Nightmare for the inferno or something like that. Uh, but usually you walk in here and there's just like a giant burning inferno and you just die instantly unless you're playing as the, uh, you know, burning man. Throw some more fireballs in there. Oh, I'm dying a little bit here. <laughs> dying a little bit. Maybe I should just let them kill each other. Okay, run! Run! Flee! Scarper! Uh, there's the inferno! I mean, it's a little bit outside the room, to be honest. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Um... Stab you, okay. And uh, yeah, so they just like create a, a flaming inferno. 
and launch lots of fireballs. And it's hilarious because I'm immune to fire and they're not. So they basically just kill themselves. Um, uh, right, okay. So. Uh, that's, a, that's a door we can't go through, isn't it? Yeah, that's a massive door. That's a floating book. Never ignore a floating book when you see one. Could be full of all sorts of useful information. It's about the Tranquil. Uh, look here, I believe we're about to get the Golem, I think. Oh, hello! Yes, this definitely looks like a, a Golem kind of a situation. It's a cursed dream, but he's actually on my side. I probably shouldn't launch a fireball at him then. Um, and that's Leliana and her dark-haired twin. <laughs> um, see if we can flame blast both of them. Actually, if we can get them far enough away from the, uh, you know, the uh, the cursed dreamer guy, then we should be able to launch a fireball. Yeah, that would be fine, man. Launch a fireball there. That should take care of them. Uh, go and. There is, oh, there's a Chantry Priest, and there's two Golems. And he's ignoring the two giant Golems. <laughs> they got the Chantry Priest. Actually, he might be completely immune to damage because he's not taken, like, you know, there's not a scratch on him and he's been punched to death by two stone Golems. Oh, look how quickly those Golems go, right, go down. Bloody hell. The two weakest things in the bloody fate of Golems and Demons, apparently. Okay, hello, person. Hello. Help! Thank you. It is time for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare. Um. Yeah, okay, he died and started spontaneously bleeding from his head, but I could turn into a golem now, and that's the only thing that really matters. Um, what's the subscriber special? Yeah, we, well, we've kind of decided, um, by we, I mean me. <laughs> Just talk about myself in the plural, it's fine. <laughs> I need to represent all the voices in my head. Um, <laughs> we kind of decided that we're going to wait and do a 500 subscriber special. Because I'm ambitious and believe that 500 people on this planet will want to subscribe to me. Um, but also, um, I just I just haven't been able to think of anything, to be honest. <laughs> it gives me a bit of extra time to think of something. So we're, we're calling this the, uh, the 300 subscriber special live stream. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't actually put that in the title. But, you know, pretend that I put it in the title. Um... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to nip back out of here. I mean, we could go and kill the demon in this place at this point, but I want to get all of the, uh, all of the, um, yes. I want to get all the forms first and then go back around them all because then you can get all of the secret places and everything. Uh, I believe it's the Darkspawn invasion where you get the, the, uh, the arcane horror, isn't it? And then Templar's Nightmare is the god-awful one. <sighs> um, yeah. Um, there should be some um, Oblivion videos coming soonish as well. I know I've, I've let them slide a little bit, but because uh, I've been focusing on other stuff, but uh, there should be some soon. Uh, the Chill series is not dead, it will come back. <laughs> it always comes back, and sometimes it disappears a bit, but it always comes back. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so go into a mousy form. Go through mousy hole and oh hello cat. What? What's the matter? Hmm? What's the matter? Mm-hmm. Okay, bye then. <laughs> she likes to just stick her head in and let me know that you know she's here. Uh right, okay, so um Uh, okay. I, I, uh, I always love the chat's reaction when the cat's doing them. Um, 
Was that the right one to go through? It wasn't, was it? No. Go back through that mouse hole. Because there's a uh, secret room thing through this other mouse hole. That's why you need to check the map a lot. Oh dear. So what's everybody drinking then? Since you're playing the kitten drinking game, what are you all drinking? Because I'm drinking um, um, kiwi and lime volvic touch of fruit flavoured water. Uh, <laughs> it's my favourite one, the kiwi and lime. I love the volvic touch of fruit flavoured water. That is like some of the best shit that you'll ever drink, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's so, and I don't know what makes it so good. The Volvic Touch of Fruit. It's really, really good though. And it's, uh, we've got it on offer in my shop. My shop. The shop I work in and I get colleague discount on top of that. So, you know, I basically live off the stuff. I like the, the kiwi and the lime is the best. But then I also like the apple and the black currant, the watermelon and the peach and raspberry. Those are my favourites. The strawberry one doesn't really taste of anything. And I'm not really that into like the lemon and limey one. There's some dogs born there. I should I, I probably better get out of the old mouse form than I will go into golem form because the golems are best for uh, punching the dogs born. Uh, uh, tea, tea's good. Yeah, <laughs> go with tea. What's your brand of tea? What brand of tea do you wear? Uh, do you go for? Because I'll be honest. Um, that, you can hear the cat again. You're going to have to drink again. It's, um, um, I can't even remember who is it. Is it Tetley that do like the flavoured ones? They do, uh, they do a biscuit one and then they do toast and jam. And the toast and jam one, or jam on toast or whatever it's called. Honestly, that's become my favourite tea. Um, I used to be a, a Yorkshire tea kind of a gal, but, uh, I think it's Tetley that do them. I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, the toast and jam one. Oh my goodness. It's the best. Uh... <laughs> what else have we got? Uh, Kentucky bourbon. Ooh. <laughs> or peach tea. Mm -hmm. uh, lemonade. Fred. Man, you disappoint me. Lemonade. How eh? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Right, okay. So... What am I doing? I'm killing dogs, born. Uh, Tetley. Yeah, Tetley's a good one. Tetley tea. We used to drink Tetley uh, when I still lived at home. It was, we were always a Tetley household and then I switched to Yorkshire tea. Because <laughs> I'm a rebel. Decided to go against the family tea. <laughs> uh, right, okay. And then I think it's Tetley that do the flavoured ones. But yeah, but that toast and jam one, honestly, it's so nice. It, it's weird, though, because, like, when you make it, it smells like strawberry jam. But when you drink it, because I don't put sugar in tea. I used to, but then I, I eat too much sugar as it is, so I stopped putting sugar in my tea. Um, but when you when you drink it, it sort, of, it sort of just tastes like tea, but you've got the smell of the jam at the same time. It's just, it's it's really hard to explain, but it's really nice. And the biscuit one's nice as well, but the, I prefer the jam one. Um, uh, I'm just reading, we're just talking about tea now. That's the best thing. Here in the US South, it's iced tea. I know because there's a YouTuber I follow from Kentucky. I know all about iced tea. <laughs> And I, I'd be honest, like 70% of the reason that I subscribe to him is for his accent because it's one of my favourite accents on the planet. Uh, I love that accent. I find it very sexy. Um, he's always talking about peach tea. But he made, he made iced tea with, like, British tea bags. <laughs> I think just to piss off his British subscribers. <laughs> he made like US style iced tea but with British tea bags I can't remember what brand it was he used might have been Tetley I can't remember um, and I remember he drank it and he was like actually it's a better tea <laughs> so I don't know maybe try making it using uh, British tea bags I, don't know, I can't remember which ones he used might have been Tetley might have been Yorkshire tea I don't know it's all just tea at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay. Let's uh, throw a giant rock at these guys. Um, uh, 
Has it been rainy in Wales, has it? It's been quite nice up here, actually. Um, it, was, it was a bit rainy yesterday, but... Um, do a bit of an earthquake. Um, it's been really nice that I've been sitting out in the garden a lot, which is one of the reasons why Oblivion hasn't been getting recorded, is because I've been coming home from work and going like, oh, I'm going to record some Oblivion, and then it's been really nice outside, and I've just ended up sitting outside with a book <laughs> all evening. Um... Yeah, because it's actually been really nice weather. It was rainy yesterday, but it's been quite nice otherwise. We've already resorted to talking about the weather, guys. Dear me. <laughs> oh, it's got to that weird time of year where, like, I'm driving into work in the morning with the heater on in the car because it's so fucking cold. And then I'm driving back from work with the air conditioning on because it's so fucking hot. It's, uh, it's that weird time of year. It's like winter in the morning and summer in the afternoon. <laughs> anyway, what am I doing? Uh, that is a lot of blood. Um, uh, uh, reading the chat. Okie dokie. So, uh, right. Um, sorry, I'm getting a bit lost here because I'm talking about like tea and the weather, and I'm kind of forgetting what the fuck I'm doing. Where are I? I'm still in Dark Sword Invasion. Is that where I'm supposed to be? That is where I'm supposed to be, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a mousy hole there, which I'm assuming is going to lead to there. I want to get all the forms first, though, before I start fannying about um, getting, like, secret rooms and stuff like that. Because it's just easier, isn't it? Now, the golem is not immune to flame. you think he would be, being made out of stone. But uh, he's not. So we have to go through here as a, uh, as a burning man. Um... <laughs> Uh, just reading the chat, just reading the chat. I like the fact that we just get together and have a little catch-up. I like that. Dragon Age is just, like, going on in the background and we're just, like, talking about cats and tea and weather and... Oh, it's lovely. Uh, we'll launch a bit of a fireball over here. Boop! And, uh... Oh, you're a flaming darkspawn. You're immune to fire. You could have fucking told me that before I went to the bloody hassle of launching a fireball at you. <laughs> Very inconsiderate there. Uh, slam him. There we go. Uh, do a bit of a quake. Excellent. And then you know what? We're just going to throw a massive boulder right where we're standing because why? Oh, fuck not. I think the golem is immune to the old boulder and they all fell over. And punch him in the face for a little bit. Preferably don't miss. Like, really, don't miss. There we go. Uh, okay. So. Uh, I love the sound of his little footsteps as well. Isn't it cute? The way he just stomps about. <laughs> uh, yes, the golem slam does always feel very satisfying. It's my favourite thing about being a golem. Right. Go through here. Uh, oh, it was saving the game there. It means there's something nasty around here. I mean, there's a mouse hole. What's in here? Is this going to be the arcane horror? Yay! Uh, and also a, 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 a lunatic. Who I think is about to be attacked by ghost dog spawn. Um, are we going to be attacked by ghost dog spawn? There we go. Don't move, they'll hear us. I mean, <laughs> I'm a golem love. <laughs> I don't really do stuff. Okay, we'll throw a, uh, we'll throw a, a, uh, a hoochie we'll sit at him. Uh, get over here, we'll just do a bit of a quake. Oof, 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 oof. We're stunned our ally, but never mind. Um, there we go. You just heal yourself, what not? That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to heal. He is healing himself. What a dick. Um... Uh, <laughs> um, read the chat. Okay, so oh, actually, the health's getting a bit low, isn't it? I, I always just feel completely invulnerable as a golem, and I sort of forget I stole the health bar. <laughs> We've almost got them though. And uh, down he goes. You, you, you killed them, but not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. 
Okay. Oh, I've been marked at mark of death. That's not good. Hopefully that wears off before I literally die. Uh, there we go. Wait. Ah, oh, it was Curse of Mortality, wasn't it? It wasn't Mark of Death. <sighs> That's a bitch, that Curse of Mortality. You can't heal or no, can you? Um, okay. So we now have every form. So, tell you what we'll do. First things first, we're going to go back to Weishaupt, or fake Weishaupt. Because this is the bit I always fucking forget about. <laughs> I forgot about it in my actual Fade video. It's the first video I ever did on this channel. And I forgot that there's the essence of willpower here, but you need to be in uh, spirit form to actually get it. So there we go. We've increased our willpower. We just glide up here. <laughs> really, really slowly. Um, and then I can hear the cats running around in the background. I think they're chasing flies. Which is what they were doing during the first live stream when they knocked the router off the windowsill and the internet died. So hopefully... <laughs> um, yeah. Hopefully uh, that's not going to happen this time. Uh, I'm just reading the chat. Exploit with golem form. It had so much health that when you switch off the game, the game it blah, 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 made the game heal you a lot. Yes, that is true. When you come out of golem form you have quite a lot of health i think as far as i can remember it's something like that yeah um go back to the raw fade <clears throat> uh hello neil please do not be disturbed by my appearance <laughs> i realize i look a little free i love the way he always puts his hand dramatically in front of him <laughs> when he's moving that tickles me it's quite cute right <clears throat> uh Okay, so... Your co-worker wanted to talk to you about actual work. Oh, oh. Well, get your flipping priorities straight. <laughs> Tell your co-worker I'm doing something very important right now, actually. <laughs> um, oh, actually, speaking of which, I need to check my group chats. Uh, okay. Yeah, if you missed the first, like, 50 minutes of the uh, live stream, I've got, like two group chats going on at the minute talking to me about stuff that I need to reply to so that that was the first like 20 minutes we, the first like 20 minutes of the stream was basically just me sorting my social life out <laughs> so I had people messaging me about stuff and I couldn't like not reply um okay so I think come out of mousy form Get through here don't we and there's a spirit door somewhere um Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading. I'm just reading. Just, this has made me think here because Timothy's just said, My huge fat grey cat wants love and it makes the puppy jealous. Does that count as off-camera kitten drama? Like, does it have to be my cats creating the drama? Or can it be anybody's cats creating the drama? <laughs> um, right, we're going to spirit form while I let you lot ponder that. <laughs> right, okay. There's some fucking wisps over here. Little assholes. Boop. And you're dead now. And then, oh, he's got such a dramatic way of casting spells, doesn't he? And I'm going to... Put you in a crushing prison and let you crush to death. And boop. Uh, I love the little boat. The little boat's cool, isn't it? Um, he said something about making the uh, the arcane horror walk. Can you remember how to make things walk? I cannot remember how to make things walk. There is a button you can push to make things walk, isn't there? Is it alt? I can't. I can't remember. It's not shift. It's not caps lock. Mm. I can't remember. Um, get the essence of dexterity. It's the only thing in here, isn't there? Yeah, the cute little boaty. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. Um, um, we're stuck. We're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on the numpad divide. Is that it? Oh, yes, it is. What a weird place to have it. 
Oh yeah, that is cool. He's got a proper swagger on him. <laughs> that actually that looks a lot more like threatening than fucking that does. <laughs> That's really cool. That. Um, what a weird place to have the walk toggle. That's a very odd choice of Bioware's there. Um, this is just marked as hidden room. Right, we'll go back through here. <sighs> Come out with this because it annoys me how slowy bloody walks. Uh, quick save. In case there's anything nasty hiding about, you never know. I mean, I, I killed all the nasties, but still. <sighs> and we're back here. Oh, yes, that's the spirit door we go through to get to the demon, isn't it? I knew there was a reason why we had to go right the way back around the other way, though. Get that other spirit door. Okay, hello, there's a demon. You're Vina! Would you like to be winter's grasped? Oh, you knocked me over! That's not fair! Um, you're supposed to at least let me get one hit in. Jesus, woman. <laughs> right, winter's grasp. Would you resist it? What a cow. Uh, crushing prison. That's a little bit better. And then, do we want to maybe go into golem form? And uh, do a bit of an earthquake deal with these shades. Um, and then what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? So hurl a rock at her. Because why not? Why not? If you can hurl a rock at somebody, you're going to hurl a rock at them, aren't they? I mean, who in their right mind would have the option to hurl a rock and be like, you know what? Not going to hurl that rock. Not going to do it. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. You could have called at me. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I looked so sad. There we go. Punched her in the face. Right, okay. Go back into our spirit form because there's a spirit thing over here we need to interact with. Essence of willpower. Uh, there's a twisted structure over there that one's clicking on. Um, click on this. Oop, I don't know why I'm still in spirit form. Big spirit form anymore. Actually, I do because I need to go back through the spirit door, don't I? That's where we were before with the little moosey hole. <sighs> Okie dokie. So, back in the spirit form, back through the door. We are one demon down. Get in. Go us. Right. I'm going to take a little quick five minute break. How long have we been going for? Oh, we've been going for nearly an hour and a half. These live streams flip and fly by, don't they? Right. Going to take a little quick five minute break. I shall be back up momentarily.
I am back. I am back. I have a lot of the chat to go back through. Um, oh, you want kitten calm, do you? Trouble is, they don't stay still. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, if they would stay in one place, I could set up a kitten calm, but you know. Yeah. Um. Okay, right, yes. Uh, <coughs> right, um, let's go back to the actual game screen. Uh, right, okay, so... <sighs> what were we doing? We were... Going around all the other islands. There we go, you see, we've got a special demon seal. Um... Put the camera on the kitten. I can't, man. <laughs> I never know where they're gonna be. <laughs> and the minute they're eaten, because I've just put some food down for them. I clear. I cleaned the litter tray out, right? And I went out into the backyard, and I swear to God, all I can smell out there is cannabis. <laughs> like really strong, you know, and you can taste it in the back of your throat. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening out there. Like, I mean, you know, if you're gonna sit in your back garden and smoke cannabis, do that. Is <laughs> Tonight's the night for it. It's absolutely gorgeous out there. But uh, <laughs> I walked out and I was like, mm. <laughs> um Oh, did you mean actually put the camera on the cat? Like, like have like a like on on its. You can yeah, you can like fit them to collars and stuff like that, can't you? My cats don't wear collars though. They were meant to be indoor cats. They were never meant to go out, so I never bothered putting collars on them. But then they decided they were going to be outdoor cats. <laughs> so you know. Um, Right, okie dokie, so we've got that door we could go through where the demon is, but I don't want to do that yet because we need to go back through all of this shit and uh, get all of the secrets that we missed. There's a mousy hole there. That connects to that mousy hole, doesn't it? Because that mousy hole led us in here, didn't it? Yes, so... We go back through here. Um, to Burning Man form. Uh, to be fair, the cats are so fluffy, you would probably just see lots of cat fluff. <laughs> um, that's probably all you would see. Very, very fluffy, my cats. Lots and lots of cat hair all over the place. I have to vacuum daily now, you know, because of all of the bloody cat hair. And then also, like, all the stuff that get stuck in them because they're so fluffy. Like leaves and cat litter and all sorts that they track onto my bloody carpets. I have to be vacuumed every day. Anyway, uh, I suppose I should just save time and vacuum the cats, really. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we need to go back downstairs, don't we? Because there's a massive door that we need to um, demolish our way through. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, this door here. Boop. And boop. We'll run in with our, uh, you know, cute little, cute little room that we do. My favourite thing when he's running. Look at his little arse. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, was that it? Was that the only thing in here? This is an unnecessarily large room for just one thing. Not even as much as a codex entry. Apparently not. There's some kind of half invisible floating books. That's interesting. I don't need to be a spirit to see them or something, do I? Oh, they are corporeal. I crash into them. They're just like a bit... Translucent is all. Um, go back into Burning Man. There's nothing else on this level, was there? I think it was just that door. Yeah. Okay, okay, we'll head back up then. Um, you're really big on this cat cab idea, aren't you? <laughs> um. Right, so I think this is quite a small level as far as I remember. I think we literally just go through that door and uh, 
fight the demon. Can't remember which demon this one is. Is this the um the the ogre demon? Cause he's my favourite of all the demons. The ogre demon. Oh, I set myself on fire. I forgot my golem wasn't fireproof. Oh well, he'll heal, won't you? Yeah, there we go. He healed. Um. I've just read, I'm worried about my wife. She thinks that's a cute ass. <laughs> I mean, cute in an adorable way, not in a sexy way. <laughs> I mean, in the way that, like, a toddler's ass is cute, not in the way, like, I don't know, who has a cute ass? Um. <laughs> I'm making myself giggle here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to spontaneously think of who has a cute ass. <laughs> um, uh, should we just go? Should we just go and fight this demon? Uh, oh, that's a lot of burning people. Should we go to burning man form? Actually, no. Burning man form is a bad idea because the only abilities he has is burning ones and they won't hurt the burning people will they if we do a bit of winter's grasp and a little bit of crushing prison and then if we go back to golem face and we do a uh, quake um, <laughs> okay so uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just distracting myself. I love how we're talking about like cute asses and stuff like that. And there's that one person who's just trying to make the conversation steer back towards Dragon Age. Like, come on guys! Remember what we're actually here for. <laughs> um <laughs> uh, right, okay. So yeah, it's Demon Guy through here, isn't it? This isn't the Golem Demon. This is Oh, it's you! You're a pathetic demon. I can just Punch you in the face, can't I? Just boop. And then throw a rock at you. And then quake. Boop, boop, boop. And then if we just nip over to the old spirit form, then we'll just put you in a bit of a winner's grasp. And oh, I can't do crushing prison. It hasn't bloody respawned yet. I'll just have to scratch your eyes out. Scratch your eyes out. Scratching his eyes out is not working. We'll go back to Gollum, shall we? Just punch him in the face. Boop. There we go. And there's a font of strength. Strength are the ones I need. I need me strength so that I can uh, wear the uh, the armor. <laughs> oh dear! Here we are on a Saturday afternoon, just talking about asses. Right. <laughs> I'm seriously genuinely trying to think who has a cute ass, like a really cute ass. Like, you know, there's lots of people I can think of, like celebrities and things who have cute asses, but I'm not like really cute ass. Like somebody who has like a super, super cute ass. Chris Evans, maybe. That's Marvel Chris Evans, not Radio 1 Breakfast Show Chris Evans. Radio 2 Breakfast Show, which he doesn't do anymore because Zoe Ball took over for it. She's actually much better than he was. But yeah, Marvel Chris Evans, who plays, um, Yes, Captain America. He's got quite a cute ass. That's, yeah. Oh, as asses go, that one's definitely up there. Right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, right. Where should we go next? Mages of Sunder. Uh, really are determined to steer the conversation back to Dragon Age, aren't you? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Where do we need to go? Right. So that's the bit we haven't been to yet. Um, zoom out. Uh, is the things here we haven't seen? There's a massive door there. 
But I'm pretty sure that massive door just like leads you back through to where you already were, doesn't it? So there's actually no reason to go back down. Because there isn't like a new room that needs unlocking. Unless... Where was that spirit thing that we needed the spirit form for? Was that in Majors Asunder? I think it was, you know. Oh, should we have to... Well, we have to go down and have a look now, don't we? Stairs up. St oh, they're both stairs up. Which bloody one is the bloody... It's the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Go this way. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, right. Yeah. We. Yeah. We'll talk about Dragon Age. We'll talk about Dragon Age. I promise. <laughs> I do remember why we're here. It's fine. Talk about Dragon Age. <sighs> uh, go back into Gollum. Just don't look at his ass. Don't think about his ass. Don't talk about his ass. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. I'm sure there was a spirit thing in one of these, wasn't there? I hope there was, otherwise I've just come back down here for no reason. But it would explain why there is a massive door there. Yeah, there we go, you see. Because I've always wondered, like, why is there a massive door there? It makes no sense because, you know, it's a place you've already been to, but then it's because there's a spirit thing there. I've probably missed that on every playthrough, you know. <laughs> I bet I have. Um, okay, so through here and back through here. I need to go back up to the top. Go up this way. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, you're trying to stone fist me. What an arsehole. Uh, it's going to burning man form. Yeah, you just stone fisted me right in the fucking face. He fisted me, guy. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Right, okay, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> right, let's just set this mage on fire, because why not? Um. <clears throat> and then, you know what? The best way to fight a golem is with another golem. He's trying to slam me, what an asshole. Well, we'll just slam him right back then. Uh, we missed. <laughs> Slam him! Slam him! There we go. And then do a bit of a quake. Boof, boof, boof. I don't think that really affects the other golems that much. And throw a bloody stone at him. I think what's interesting is that when another golem throws a stone at you, or you throw a stone at another golem, it like knocks them over, but you don't get knocked over by your own stone. Like if you if you throw it within, you know, the radius that you are in. Um, you are immune to your own stones. Uh, oh, the mage healed the golem. That's not fair, man. It's cheating, that is. That's just, you know, bad sportsmanship. That's what that is. That's my health's getting a bit low, actually. Um, 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 we need to take that bloody mage out. Should we go to spirit form? Uh, yeah, you get a lot of your health back after you've been in golem form. Right, do a bit of a winter's grass on you. And then, unfortunately, I don't have enough stamina for my old... Uh, Hujima, what's it? Crushing prison. So, I don't know. Should we go into Burning Man? And then we can do a fireball. Can never go wrong with a fireball. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> the chat's gone. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> we've, we've hit rock bottom now. Could the tone get any lower? <laughs> uh, <laughs> answer your question. Yes, the tone can get lower. You just watch me. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a school of spirit over here. Got it. Just a uh, codex entry. Okay. Okay. Um. I like the fade. I like that there's just lots of random stuff all over the place. Well designed, the fade, isn't it? Ooh, there's a note. Somebody wrote a note in the in the fade. Ooh, it's a codex about the harrowing. Shall we read that? Among apprentices of the circle, nothing is regarded with more fear than the harrowing. Little is known about this rite of passage, and that alone would be cause for dread. But it is well understood that only those apprentices who pass this trial are ever seen again. They return as full members of the circle of Magi. Those who fail... Of those who fail, nothing is known. Perhaps they are sent away in disgrace. Perhaps they are killed on the spot. I heard one 
a patently ridiculous rumour among the circle in Ravain which claimed that failed apprentices were transformed into pigs, fattened up and served at dinner to the senior enchanters, but I could find no evidence uh, that the Ravaini circle ate any particular quantity of pork. Uh, interesting. Uh, oh, it's Brother Jenna TV. Broke half the fucking codex entries, did Brother Jenna TV, didn't he? Uh, there's a massive door. We shall stomp down. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. What are my thoughts on the archivist's sash? I mean, that sounds familiar. <laughs> God, I, 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 it sounds familiar. <laughs> is that a serious question or is it an attempt to lower the tone? Because the fact I can't remember what it is means I can't actually tell. <laughs> Definitely sounds familiar though. <laughs> um, uh, right, okay. Uh, give me a bit more context if it's a serious question <laughs> and I'll answer it. Um, um, right, okay. There's some, there's some mages dressed as Chantry sisters because why not? We'll come over here and do a bit of a quake. <clears throat> uh, oh, they're surprisingly tough, these priests, actually. Maybe we go into uh, Burning Man form, launch a bit of a fireball. Uh... Oh, yes, that's right. I do know what you're talking about, the Archivist Sash, yes. Uh, the belt you buy from the Wonders of Thade as the boost code entry XP gained by 50%. I don't, I don't think I've ever used it. Because, I mean, you, you still get to, like, max level by the end of the game anyway, don't you? Pretty much. So long as you do mostly everything. Um, I just I feel like it's a bit of a waste, to be honest, when there's so many better bits of equipment out there that give you like, you know, boosts to constitution or dexterity or, you know, whatever it is, whatever class you're playing as. Um, there's so many good ones out there. And I know you could keep switching it in and out, couldn't you? You could keep putting it on for codex entries and then taking it off again, but I would just forget. Like, that just feels like too much of a faff for me, and I think there's plenty of XP to go around. Um, so I've never actually bothered using it. Um... Uh, uh, I like being asked things. That's kind of cool because proper YouTubers get asked things, don't they, in the chat? Get asked their opinions on things. That's kind of cool. Um, there's a golem there. Fight the golem with another golem. Let's just punch him in the face. Uh, and do a bit of a quake. He's trying to slam me. What an arsehole. What an arsehole. And he resisted my quake. Oh, it's almost like he doesn't want me to win. <laughs> There's a rock in his face. He resisted that as well. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, now we're just, we're just in a slapping match. <laughs> we just both keep missing. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, isn't it? Just look at them. Look at them trying to punch each other. Oh, it's so cute. And uh, that still didn't kill him. Flippin' heck, man. There we go. Some people just don't have the decency to die when they're supposed to, do they? Now, some of these rooms can get a bit nasty as far as I remember. Uh, I'll just let me health come back. Uh, doop. And... Oh, yeah, we've got mages and priests and all sorts. Um, I know there's one that has, like, three golems in it or something like that. I'm sure that's a thing. And boop! Oh, they died pretty quick. <laughs> you see, that's that's the decent response. When somebody throws a rock at you, you should die quickly. <laughs> um, do a bit of a quake. I wonder, do your actual attribute points affect how you fight in the different forms? There's a thing. Like, if I go into thingy now... Because all my attributes are... Oh, no, they're, they're not actually. They've changed. Because Dora definitely does not have 41 strength. So she's got plus 20... Ah, she's got plus 23, I'm presuming, from being a golem. But if her strength was higher than 18, it would still be, like, higher, wouldn't it? So I suppose your attribute, your actual attributes do, to a point, affect it. 
just because he's missing a lot and I think if you know if, if she had higher dexterity would he would he not be missing as much or <clears throat> are the attribute points set in each form if you see what I mean you know what I mean right I know what I mean sometimes <laughs> uh, uh, yeah okay so <sighs> through all of these rooms. These rooms are interesting. You don't actually have to enter these rooms if you don't want to. You can just miss them out if you so desire, but uh, I've got codex entries and stuff in them. Uh, there's nothing worse than an incomplete level, is there? Rooms that you've missed and whatnot. Oh, can't I be dealing with that, man? Uh, yeah, he fell flat on his face, he did. Do a bit of a quake. This guy might not even get a hit in, you know. Do a big slam. Oof. Ah, there he goes. Bless him. Bless his little heart. <laughs> that was his moment and he failed. <laughs> um, uh, right, yeah, oh, this is the room. Yeah, I knew there was one that had three of them in. I knew it. Right, okay. Throw a stone at you. And, oh, that managed to get him as well. And then us two, we're just going to, like, fight it out. We're going to have a little scrap, like you do. Uh, me, oh, my quake hasn't come back yet, man. That was bad planning, wasn't it? Oh, they're ganging up on me, guys. They're ganging up on me. Also, oh, no, that's that's the blood of my enemies, isn't it? I was like, am I bleeding? Why am I covered in blood? <laughs> makes sense that a golem would bleed. <clears throat> my God, this is the fade. Nothing makes sense. Right, do a bit of a quake. No, 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 no. Don't fall over. Do a bit of a quake. Quake, quake, quake. And then just keep punching them. And then do a bit of a rock throw. I think you're going to get all of them in that. Ah. Uh, Oh, did they? Oh, for a minute there, I thought they'd all died simultaneously. That would have been so cool. <laughs> but no, those two survived. What assholes. And down he goes. And they're going to finish you off with a slam. Um, uh, yes, you can't 100% the codex. And that is really, really, really annoying. <laughs> it is really annoying. Yeah, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Uh Right, okay. So. Uh, are there any more? Have we done all the rooms? No, we've got one room still to do, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, I suppose technically you can 100% the codex across multiple playthroughs, but you can't really like because the codex doesn't like carry over you know um so you, you know you never have a full book which is annoying uh hello there's a, just a priest hanging out with a couple of golems here as you do you know i don't judge you can hang out with whoever you want to hang out with i'm still gonna kill you all just the same like but you know <laughs> and boop you go. That damaged the golem more than it damaged the priest. The priests are flipping tough. <laughs> I don't know why, but they are. Um, <clears throat> assuming they're not really priests. I bet they're demons disguised as priests. Yeah, you get different entries for different characters, so you get different entries. Um, uh, like, depending on what origin you do and stuff like that. Because, you know, you meet different characters and things. And I'm pretty sure, like, Different characters get different code entries, maybe. Can't quite remember. Um, it's like you'll meet characters as one um, character who you won't meet as like other characters. You know what I mean. Uh, right. Like you'll only meet Dora's mother if you play as Dora. And I'm assuming she gets a codex entry. Uh, Uh, right, okay. Essence of willpower. Take the old willpower. I've still got two strength points that I haven't found yet. And I need those strength points. I can't be uh, missing out on those because I, I need to be able to put my sexy armour on. <coughs> Liliana's armour. I don't know what it's called. I need a drink because my throat's giving out. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves.
Okay. Sorry, we've gone a while without a cutscene, so I haven't drunk anything in a while. My throat was just, like, about to die. Uh, right. That lime and kiwi water. Oh, my God. It's the shit, man. Uh, right. <clears throat> Is that everything? I think we've done everything now, haven't we? Yes, we can head through here. Uh, let's take on the other uh, demon. There's a fly in my face. Fuck off, fly. There we go. Uh, right. Open this door up. Boop. And oh, arcane horrors. Right. Go into spirit form because these guys are fucking nasty if you don't take care of them quick enough. Um, I can't actually target them. <laughs> right. Witness grass. Boop. Crushing prison. Boop. Uh, burning man. I really want to hope they don't cast crushing prison on me because that would be really, really bad. Fireball, we're about to die. Oh, we've been frozen. Oh, that's a cool pose, though. Like, if I have to die, I want to die in that pose. Um, um, when did I last save the game? Because I think I'm going to die. Um, I go back into Dora, and then, uh, health potion, nice and quick. There we go. And then, um, okay, so one's dead. Burning man. I'm sure I have it in my head that if you stay as a golem. Oh, I can't do the fireball. You die really easily. I'm sure that's the thing, that like the golems are really, really weak. Oh, and my bloody pearl hasn't come back either. Jesus Christ, I'm not doing very well here, am I? I might just have to walk up to him and punch him in the face. <laughs> Do witness grass. Oh, that's another really cool pose to die in. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. What are we going to do here? I might just have to walk up to him like Asdora and just like stab him. Should we do that? We haven't actually fought Asdora in a while. Uh, I'm gonna let you take a health potion. And then... Deadly strike! Uh, and... Die! There we go. That's what I should have done to begin with. That was definitely the best option there. That was a very long and drawn out death rattle. Bloody hell. Go on, right, love. I know I killed you. You don't need to make such a fuss about it. Uh, let's head through this spirit door. Have a look at the map. Uh, it's for all of my saying, you need to check the map a lot. I haven't really been checking the map a lot. That's just because I know the fate so well, man. Um, uh, just reading the chat. Uh, oh, there's a golem. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, golem. I was distracted. Uh, I'm just going to witness grasp it, and then I'm going to... Go back into other column form and then I'm gonna slam you in the face and then I'm gonna hurl a rock at you because that's just how I roll mate. How I friggin roll. Uh, we're up to 16 views you know guys. Went pretty well. Last Saturday's got up to like 24 or something like that before the internet died. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then the second part only got up to like 12 or something. Um, get the old essence of dexterity and then there's a little mousy hole we need to go through. Go through the little mousy hole. we still got the flipping uh, Templar's Nightmare to get through after this, haven't we? Essence of cunning. Oh, there's two flipping golems, man. Howie! How many golems do you want in a level? I do think that Origins, sometimes the levels are just a little bit too long. Like, just. Like, they just go over. Like, you know, they get to the point where it's like, this would have been long enough, and they just push it a little bit too much. And on your first few, few playthroughs, it's not so bad, but once you're on, like, your 98th playthrough or whatever, like me, <laughs> it's like, you want to be able to get through it a little bit quicker, because it's, you know, getting a bit seamy. It's all right, though. Uh... Right, okay. So. Wait for my abilities to come back. There we go. <clears throat> oh, you resisted it. You resisted me, bloody. It's not fair. I mean, mind you, he resisted it and still died. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, punch me in the face. Health's a bit low. I think he's gonna die before me, though. One is one hit. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, Essence of Cunning. Uh, yeah, Orzabar takes quite a while, yeah. Um, I kind of, I, I don't know, Orzabar, I, I love the Deep Roads because it, if, if, um, I sort of love the slog of the Deep Roads because when you come out of it, you feel like you've been in the Deep Roads. You know what I mean? Like you come out of it and, and the moment that you step back out of Orzammar and like into the world, it's like genuinely a relief. Like as a player, you actually feel like you've been, you know, buried underground with a load of dark spawn and you're finally back out into the open and you can breathe the air again because the, the level is such a slog. Um, you know, you do, you actually feel like you've been through it as the player, never mind <laughs> the actual character. Um, so I do like that about it, but it's just once you've done multiple playthroughs, it's just like, how where really? <laughs> I have to go through all this again. <laughs> um, there we go, got some dexterity and some constitution. I need strength, man. The strength ones are the ones I'm looking for. Those are the ones I really, really want. Just to get me up to 20 so that I can wear me armor. Uh, I was about to try and go through a mouse hole as a golem there. I feel like that would probably not work. Um, yeah, we pretty much finished this level, aren't we? Um, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just read the chat, don't mind me. Uh, back through the spirit door okay and then through there is a demon uh, there we go it's a, yeah, you're more of an abomination than a demon I mean you're a demon in the form of an abomination so yeah uh, we'll put a bit of a freeze on you Boop. put a bit of a crushing prison on you Boop. Uh, Gonna throw a rock in your face. Whoops, hang on a minute. That was that was definitely the wrong target there. There we go. And we just run in and punch him, really. Just punch him in the face. Bless his little heart. Can't take on a dwarf in the fade in the form of a cop. <laughs> oh dear. People just talking about Ozmar in the chat. It's good Ozmar, I do enjoy it, Ozmar. Um Okay, so we need to go next. Temple's nightmare. I haven't even finished the dog spawn invasion yet, man. Um Yeah, we'll go do the Temple's Nightmare. This is the one that's a bit bitchy. But it's not as confusing as what you think it is. Because Hello cat! I can hear you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. That's always disturbing. Where are you? I definitely heard you. Where are you? It's waiting to pounce at me. I don't like it when I can hear her, but I can't see her. Um, uh, just reading the chat. Right. Um, yes. So, what makes this one confusing is you've got all of these... Fade portals here, right? And if you go to the map, they're not actually marked on the map, but you can see these like little doorways, these little fade portals. Do not go through them. They are a lie. All they do is like connect to each other, but they don't really serve any purpose, um, except maybe a shortcuts. But I honestly think they're just there to confuse you. So just ignore them. Just you know, pretend they don't exist. Um, and this. Level will become much less confusing that way. Uh, there's a mousy hole there. Go through the mousy hole. See where that's going to lead us. Uh... Uh, whoa, flipping heck. I was reading the chat. That is not cool. Do not friggin' shoot a girl when she's reading the friggin' chat. Now I've got to take one of my health potions. Honestly. Let's go in a golem form. Um... Oh, rock at this friggin' idiot. Uh... Oh, there we go. You disintegrated. <laughs> um... Yeah, so this is made us like skip off the level, isn't it? Uh... Uh, right, OK. 
Okay. Yeah, they, yeah, these fade portals, just ignore them. They're just, they're just, just, just ignore them. Um, ooh, 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 I've detected a trap. What does that trap do? It's a fire trap. Well, that's exciting. I wonder if they can trigger it. I bet they probably won't. Oh, I could trigger it though, couldn't I? Ask the burning man. Trigger the fire trap. There we go. I just set them all on fire. It wasn't a very impressive fire trap, was it? <laughs> Bit of a nothing in particular kind of fire trap. Oh, are they immune? Oh. One of them was immune, but then the other one's not immune. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just go back into Golem form. Golem form, Dora. Dear me, woman. Stand there and let them punch you, why don't you? Uh, 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 right. Uh, 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 there we go. Right, and there's a mouse hole in here. There's some books that I can click on. Oh, right, I believe this mousey hole takes us to a secret room. Yeah, because you can see the secret room at the edge of it over there. So that mousey hole takes us to a secret room. That mouse hole took us to there, and I think that one takes us to the next level. Uh, uh, oh, look, there's a blight wolf. Of course there's a blight wolf. Why wouldn't there be a blight wolf? Who needs a good blight wolf? I'm going to just let Dora kill the blight wolf. She doesn't need any, you know, golem or anything like that to kill a blight wolf. I believe she can kill a blight wolf on her own. Well, I read the chat. <laughs> um, uh, I hope this blight wolf can't overwhelm me, actually, because that would actually be quite bad. <laughs> um, Dora takes freaking ages to kill things, doesn't she? Why we have a golem? And then we've got essence of dexterity. Still no strength. <laughs> Strength I'm counting on. I mean, all of them are good. Try to get through the uh, mouse hole when I wasn't a mouse. Um, right. So, yeah, I think the only way we've got to go is um, through this mouse hole here. Because, yeah, ignore the fade portals. Just, they're just, yeah, they're a good use it. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, uh, oh yes, there's a giant ogre. You know what a giant ogre needs? A giant golem friend! Hello, giant ogre! We can be friends! Because we're both like giant and stuff, and we can punch each other like really well. <laughs> uh, oh, I like the chest smash. I should have a chest smash. Right, golems should have like chest. Um... I think I feel like smash is the wrong word, you know what I mean? Oh, he rammed me with his horns. Um. That's an interesting sentence out of context, isn't it? <laughs> Told you I could lower the tone. <laughs> uh, right, so punch him. And then we've got a thunder abomination to take out. Uh, right, okay. So, you know the fade portals. Um, nothing in here, is there? Oh, we've got a burning room. Everybody's still talking about walls of bar. It's good. Right. Uh, let's launch a bit of a fireball at you. And boom! <laughs> and there he goes. And we've got a mousy hole. Where's that mousy hole going to take me? Um, will that one take me into there? I've got a feeling that one might take me into there. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because it's like... Yeah, because that's the mouse hole you end up in. Because it means you can, like, sneak in around the back of the guy who's in there, but I think it's actually better to go in through the front door. As the golem. Yeah. I can't remember what's in there. It's, oh, it's Abomination time. Um... Yeah, because then you can like bottleneck them in the door, can't you? Uh... 
Sorry, I've gone quiet. I'm just reading the chat. I like watching the unfolding conversations. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at your Welsh friend. <laughs> I love how... Right, so I've been asked how far into the story I'm at. This is the first uh, main mission we've done. I've literally come out whilst Agar had come to do this. Um, <laughs> he just went, story? What story? The story of the game, love. The game that we're watching. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to tease me about multitasking, I'm going to tease you as well. Right, okay. Um, uh, right, go through this spirit door. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> uh, this channel is going to have so many in jokes from these live streams, isn't it? Just like, you know, golem asses and <laughs> fisting and <laughs> all sorts going on. Uh, right, okay, 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 let's go golem mode. And let's just. Uh, uh... <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. <laughs> I always think these live streams must be very, very um, annoying to like watch, like not live. You know what I mean? Because when you watch it live and you've got the chat in front of you, and, you know, and you're, you're you're chatting in the chat or you're just watching the chat and you're sort of part of it, but. If you're, if you're watching it after it's gone up, like, as a video, all of these pauses and me just laughing at things and stuff like that must actually be quite irritating. <laughs> when I just, like, stop talking for a minute because I'm reading stuff and things like that. But, you know, that's all right. Um, uh, uh, yeah, like, bits like this where I'm just reading the chat going, uh, um... Do you consider the urn technically a fifth main mission? Yes. Yeah, I consider the urn a main mission. Um, I know it's like part of the Redcliffe mission, but you kind of do the Redcliffe mission. The Red Redcliffe is like a, you know, a quest in, in and of itself, and then the urn is a separate quest. Um, I'm trying to think where, where I usually do the urn in the game. I think I usually do the urn, like, after Rosamar. Um... Although, I don't know, maybe sometimes I do it earlier. I don't know. Uh, right, okay. Um, just answering questions I haven't even been asked now. <laughs> um, right, we'll open up this door. Those mousy holes just collect, connect to each other, don't they, I think? I don't think we need to bother exploring them. Um, I just need to have a little quick check. Oh, my strength is 19. I picked up another strength point at some point. So I'm only missing one strength point. Assuming there are four strength points. I mean, I'm only... I, I didn't actually double-check that. It was just because I thought people said in the chat that there were four strength points in the fade. And I just... I just believed you all. I have complete faith. Uh... Uh... You can do the urn before Redcliffe? Oh, I think I did know that. Maybe. Yes, no, I did know that. I did, because you've told me before. <laughs> um... Yes. Uh, yeah, we, we should do that at some point, actually. Um, um, uh, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm really distracted. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> like, even more than usual. Right, Burning Man. And I've just been frozen. Ah. <sighs> I've been frozen and then set on fire. I mean, come on, give me a break. And now you're trying to bloody chain lightning me. Okay, I need to take a health potion. Because that chain lightning is going to kill me. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go spirit form. Seems like a good idea. And then just, like, take care of this bloody corpse. Boop. And then, where's that arcane horror? We need crushing prison. Which you resisted. What a fucking... Little freaking asshole. I swear to God. Um... <laughs> Oh, me fire. I don't have any fireball. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Dora, take a health potion! There we go. Um, Gollum? Can Gollum do anything? 
Golem can throw a giant rock. That's exactly what we need. Uh, and that didn't kill it, for God's sake. What do you want me to do? Crumble, crumble, crumble. Can I win as grasp him? Resisted. I refuse to be defeated by a friggin' arcane horror. After all of the things that I have won against... Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna end up using up only flipping health potions here. Uh, it's just running and stabbing. And now I'm on fire. That's bad. <laughs> Stab him, love! Stab him! Right in the eye! There we go. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the end there for a minute. Um, well, not the end, obviously, because I would just, like, reload. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, uh... <laughs> just reading the chat. You lot are just entertaining yourselves. You don't need me. Uh, right, okay. So, yeah, that mousey hole just connects to that mousey hole, doesn't it? Let's just double check that just in case there's a secret. I don't think there is. Yeah, it just connects to that mousey hole. Okay, okay. If you come here and you don't have the golem. Now... Um, I know I said ignore the fade portals, but this is a fade portal you actually have to go through. And I have a feeling that maybe on the other side of this door or maybe the one after it is the room that gets set on fire, I think. Uh, is it this one or is it the next one? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, the room gets set on fire. But I'm immune because I'm a burning man through here and there's freaking abominations I don't know I don't know uh, who's my party what you mean for this particular quest it's Morrigan Wynn and Alistair uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Yeah, those are kind of horrors. Are kind of assholes, aren't they? <laughs> They're quite weak, so long as you can, like, you know, survive long enough to actually kill them. It's just their spells are flipping awful. Oh, yeah! You launch a fireball at me just as I come out of bloody burning man form. Luckily, it didn't actually... Uh, I killed him before he actually managed to get it off. Uh, there we go. And let me just do a bit of a flame blast. Oh, for the game in general, um, haven't quite decided yet. I think I'm gonna have, I probably have Morrigan and Win because I like to have two mages. I like to have an attacky mage and a healy mage. So obviously, if I'm not playing as a mage, I need to have both Win and Morrigan with me. And then it's gonna have to be a warrior, isn't it? So it's probably gonna be Alistair, since I'm playing as a rogue. I would like it to be Liliana, um, because she's an archer, and archers are kind of awesome. So I might occasionally switch one of the mages out for Liliana instead. I don't know if I'm going to have like a dream team or if I'm, I'm going to be more like, you know. Because usually I have like a dream team who are just like the ones that I take with me all the time. But with uh, when playing as a rogue, I think maybe switch things up a little bit more. Um, uh, right, okay. Uh, we're heading here and there should be... There should be... Oh, she turned into a little mouse with purple hair. It's the most adorable thing. And also there's a dead Templar, which is less adorable. Okay. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> the purple haired mousey. Uh, go through here. That's a good evil laugh there, love. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to turn into a golem. And then you better not freeze me. You be She freezed me. I specifically told you not to freeze me, and you've freaking freezed me. You just can't take instructions, can you? <laughs> Throw a rock at her, and then we just slam her in the face. That was more of the uh, the tits we slammed her in there, but you know, that's good too. Um, and spirit bomb, and we'll put her in a bit of a witness grasp, and then we'll put her in a bit of a crushing prison, and then she will launch a fireball, and I'll just, you know, finish things off. And down she goes. Okay. Uh, 
her. Lots of essence of cunning. Um, hang on, I just need to, I just need to, I just need to. Yeah, still on 19 strength. Uh, we've got one place left to go though, haven't we? Yeah, hang on a minute, come out there a second. Make sure we've done everything here. I think we'll have. I don't think we've missed any secrets, have we? I don't think so. So, uh, nip into the dark spawn invasion. And I think we basically need to go right back to the beginning of this one because I basically skipped everything, didn't I? <laughs> Just to get to the actual uh, spirit form thing. So there's a mouse hole there, but I believe I've already been through that one. Uh, head back to here. We'll go into Gollum form because Gollum is very good for taking care of dark spawn. I'm going to have to take another drink. I'm sorry. Um... There we go. <clears throat> My throat needs lubricating. Right. <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, so, did we kill everybody in here? We must have done. The trouble is, I've lost track of like where we've been and where we've not been. That's a lot of blood. I believe I said that the first time I came through here, didn't I? <laughs> There's uh, me with the, uh, um, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. <sighs> you know, you're trying to think of a word and every single word in the English language comes into your head except the one that you want. I can't even remember what I was going to say. Okay. Um, I haven't been through that mouse hole ever. I haven't been through that mouse hole, I don't think. We'll go through that mouse hole. Uh, go through here. There we go. Ah, there's another mousy hole over there. And there's a genlock. <sighs> that genlock saw a mouse and thought I must kill that mouse. Like, really? I mean, let the mouse be, man. What have you got to get against mice? <laughs> uh, right. I need to punch all these golems. These, uh, they're not golems. They're genlocks. Sort of like mini golems, kind of. Um, I suppose, actually, the genlocks were, are like, you know, born from dwarf brood mothers, aren't they? So, you know, dwarves are kind of like mini golems, right? Kind of. Um, uh, I'm just talking shit now. Like, <laughs> even by my standards, <laughs> we've gone into talking shit territory. Right. Uh, mousy. Um. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, where the fuck are we here? This is where we've already been. What? Hang on a minute. There wasn't even a secret in that room. Oh, I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. I wanted. I wanted an attribute point in that room, and there wasn't one. Unless I just missed it. I just miss it. Let's go back and double check, just in case. I don't want to miss any of those uh, uh, things. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> oh, you can tell when I've been streaming for a while because I just sort of like, you know, wind down a little bit. <laughs> this is why I don't bulk record videos that often. Because I sometimes think, I think, oh, I'll sit down for a day and I'll just like bulk record loads of videos. But I'll do like two and then it's like when I'm doing the third one, I can just feel myself just like, you know, making even less sense than usual. And I'm just like, I can't do it. Um, go back through here. Right, okay. So. So. Yeah, I'm heading back down this way, aren't I? To find all of the things what I've missed, I think. I think that's what I'm doing. Uh, going down here. Have I been through that mouse hole? That's, yeah, because that's where that one leads you, isn't it? Yeah, because, oh, I don't know, because we haven't been through this door, so it's this bit that we missed out. Get on it. Ah, and we need me burning man form. The voice actress who recorded the lines for the violent voice sounds really familiar. 
Just when she said, I'll get on it like that. Like, that sounds like somebody I've heard in video games before. I mean, it probably is, because, you know, um, probably the kind of person who's done lots of lines for lots of video games, but it sounds really familiar. Like, I'm, it makes me think of, um, uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Sounds like somebody in Knights of the Old Republic. That's what it sounds like to me. Anyway, knock all these people over, because why not? Back into Gollum, um, <laughs> um, form. Uh, you hadn't noticed that I was talking shit. Well, you've obviously been watching me too long. <laughs> you've become immune. <laughs> you've, you've been absorbed by my madness and it no longer seems like madness to you. That's dangerous, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just deal with these hairlocks. Oh dear. We'll go over here. I'm gonna end up fighting all of them at once, aren't I? I don't know why I decided to trigger these two before I'd killed the others. I don't know. I just felt like it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now they're all coming in. I have a Barney with me, but that's alright. Uh, oh my god, you just know who the voice actress was. Just like, completely. Just off the top of your head, you just know that. That's amazing. <laughs> um, uh, 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 right, okay, okay, okay. That's a true video game nerd, that is. Just knows who the voice actress is. Either that or you did a very quick Google search. Which, you know, maybe you did, I don't know. Right, um, Shenlock Alpha. We'll just punch. Boop. There we go. Oh yeah, you did a quick Google search, okay. <laughs> I was really impressed with you there. You could have just lied and been like, yeah, yeah, I knew, I, knew, I just knew who that was. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So who else has she played then? Has she played anybody else in like video games and stuff like that? Like anybody I would know? Like any major characters or anything? Because she sounds so familiar. But I feel like, I feel like it's a sort of like, um... It doesn't feel like somebody who was like a main character or anything. It feels like one of those, you know, actors who just does lots and lots of generic voices in a video game. <laughs> you know, like in, uh... You know it's like in video games where like the, 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 there's like six voices in the entire universe <laughs> to be spread amongst all of the uh, side characters. Um, uh, right, okay, so... Uh, we've already been in there, haven't we? Where have we already been? Why is the door closed if we've already been in there? If we go through a mousy hole, I think we must have done. Um, I think we've done everything here now, haven't we? I'm gonna take on the golem. Have I got that extra strength point yet? Yes, I have! Yay! I can wear the sexy armor. Actually, if we come out of golem mode, she can put the sexy armor on even though she's in the fade, which means, you know, I like to think that some random person just come along and just put the battle dress of the provocator on her while she was asleep. She just woke up in the battle dress of the provocator and was like, what the fuck? Uh, mind you, I once, I remember when I was like a teenager, I went to bed in my pyjamas and woke up in my nighty, and it blew my mind. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I just woke up in the middle of the night and thought, oh, I'm a bit hot, I'll put my nighty on instead of my pyjamas. But I had absolutely no recollection whatsoever. And it bothered me for weeks, honestly, that I'd gone to sleep in my pyjamas and woken up in my nighty. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, um, anyway... She's got a battle dress of the propagator on now. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, annoying thing about the fade is that you don't pick up any loot. It really pisses me off, that does. Uh, right. Look how little Dorabella looks after I've been stomping around as a golem. She looks so itty bitty. <laughs> looks so dinky. I can hear a cat. Hello, cat. Hello. What? What's the matter? What? 
He's want to come in and... Uh, yeah. She just likes to come in, meow, and then bugger off again. And she's gone. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I think she just likes to check I'm still here. Right. Um, where am I going? I'm lost. I'm confused. Go that way. Not the way I'm going. Uh, <laughs> uh, various additional voices. Yeah. Sorry, that's this is the uh, the uh, the the actress who plays the uh, violent dwarf. Um, yeah, it does. It just sounds like a familiar voice. It's probably just a voice I've heard in like various things. <sighs> I tell you what, a lot of. Um, Video game actors tend to turn up in is episodes of Scooby Doo. <laughs> like, uh, particularly What's New Scooby Doo, which is the one that was like on when I was a kid. That's what I grew up watching. I've got them all on DVD. I'm a bit of a Scooby Doo fan. I've actually got I've got all the original series on DVD as well, and then I've got the films, the live action films. Um, and it's absolute travesty that they never made a third one because they were really friggin' good. Those films. I'm still upset that they never made a third. I'm a bit of a Scooby Doo fan. I like a bit of Scooby Doo. But they yes, a surprising amount of voice actors from things like Dragon Age and Mass Effect and stuff like that turn up in episodes of Scooby Doo. It's very weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um Right, okay, so uh, where are we going? We just need to take on the big demon now, don't we? And then we need to go and get all of our companions from the nightmares. And I can hear the cat again. What? You're trying to get my viewers drunk, aren't you? Hey? Yes, I thought you were. Hmm? Yeah, I know. I know. What's the matter? Okay. <laughs> I bet I know what's happened. I bet our brother has disappeared off down the street and she can't see him and she's freaking the fuck out because she does that. Uh, is that a spirit thing that I need to interact with? Yes, it is. Uh, honestly, she sits on that. She won't leave the yard, but he'll leave the yard and go on little adventures. And she'll sit on the wall and watch him. And then the moment he disappears, she just freaks out and she comes and gets us, gets us, and it's just like he's gone. Like he'll come back. Can you hear her? <coughs> what? <coughs> what? <coughs> what? <coughs> and now she's chasing a fly. Okay, that was a lot of kitten drama. That. Like a lot of kitten drop. Just drink the whole bottle. <laughs> um, okay, right. Uh, we need to uh, knock this door down, don't we? Um, um, oh, those things are going to attack me. Uh, right, okay. So, this is a good room, this actually, because if you just stand back, they kind of run at you in waves. <laughs> But they don't, they don't think to maybe, like, all come in at once. No, they just run at you, like, in little groups. Which makes it much easier for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, she's back again. What, man? What? And she's gone. <laughs> she's such a little drama queen. Um, and then our brother is, like, the most laid-back cat you've ever met in your entire life. They are complete opposites. She's, like, so stressy. And just like really vocal and just like kicks off over the tiniest little thing. And then he's just like the most laid back cat on the planet. Um, I, I took them to the vet. Right. They were having <clears throat> dietary issues. Let's just say the litter tray was not very nice to clean out. Right. So I took them to the vet. Um, to see what was, you know, wrong. And she was examining them and everything like that. <laughs> because they're so fluffy they're really long haired cats so they're very very fluffy and of course they were having like diarrhea and stuff like that which is not very good with the amount of like you know fluff in the arse region there was <laughs> you know it was not very hygienic for them let's say that and she was like I'm gonna have to shave their asses." <laughs> so she, sh she shaved like right round like the backs of their legs and things like that you know so it's more hygienic for them and then um, and it was so funny because Scorpio, like, he's just, he's the most chilled cat ever. And he just sat there and just let her. 
<laughs> and she couldn't believe it. She was like, I can't believe how, how well behaved he's been. I was like, oh yeah, he's the most docile cat ever. And then got her out. Bloody hell. It took like flipping three nurses to hold her down. <laughs> it's an absolute fucking nightmare. They are like chalk and cheese. They're the complete opposite of each other. Anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> yes, we're back. <laughs> We're back to we're back to cat shit. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, did I watch the Velma TV series? No, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. It's meant it's meant more like a kind of adult sort of version of it, isn't it? I think it's meant to be, and I don't know if I want an adult version of Scooby Doo. Um, I like you know I like Scooby Doo to be just sort of daft and ridiculous and childish. <laughs> um, uh, right. Okay, so do a bit of there. Uh... <sighs> Back to talking about cat shit in the chat. <laughs> oh, you knocked me over, you little asshole. Uh... <laughs> uh, right, okay. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, there's an emissary. Oh, but he doesn't. He's not a magic emissary because this is the fade, so nothing makes sense. So he's an emissary, which means he should be magic, but he's got a giant sword instead. Because yeah, it's, it is, this is the fade, which is kind of like opposite land or something like that. We'll take out this herlock first. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> um. uh, so sorry, I'm just kind of going uh, a lot. It means I'm kind of reading and trying to play the game at the same time, and you know, you know, I'm not good at that shit. <laughs> hey, dear. Right. Just launch a giant rock into the midst of all of this. Is there another one somewhere? I'm sure I can hear somebody else attacking me, but I can't see anyone. There is a lot of flipping blood in this room. Um, <clears throat> so wait for me, uh, health to come back. Oh, we're up to 21 views. Oh, it's saying we've only got three current viewers. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, take a drink. Right. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, is there anybody else in this room? Because sometimes they pop into existence when you get closer to them. No, there's nobody else in this room. Okay. Now, this annoys me because you have to throw the rock at the door to get that door open, right? But then your hurling ability goes on cooldown. And on the other side of that door is a giant ogre. And the best thing to do against a giant ogre is to hurl a rock at him. And it just really annoys me that you have to wait. But sometimes if you stay back far enough, you don't actually trigger him straight away. Yeah, so we can stand here and wait for our hurling ability to come back. I mean, it doesn't take, like, ages to come back. But, you know, long enough to be annoying. <laughs> um, go, it's nearly back. Nearly back. There we go. Talking about dog grooming now in the uh, in the chat. <laughs> hey right. Uh, there's an ogre. And poop. Oh, he's like the crusher. He's got a, a a thing after his name. Yeah, a thing. A one of those. A word that I can't think of right at this moment. That makes him better than all the other demons. And we've managed to stun him. Oh, he's going to ram. Oh, dear. We fell over. <laughs> and he's doing a massive attack. That's not good either. Okay, okay. Just chill, man. Just chill. Um, yeah, he's going to keep ramming me. Okay, okay. He's got quite a lot of my health down. So we're just going to, like, run away a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, like, run, run, run. Um, yeah, he's got quite a lot of my health down, actually. Um... Pull a rock at him and boop and do a slap. Let's see if we can do this without having to um, change back to Dorabella form. Uh, we 
can stun him and then you just I just need you to punch him once. Just once. Just what? You failed me, Gollum. You failed me. Yeah, he's like really close to killing me. You just need one punch. That's all you need. Just one. There we go. Bloody hell. That was nearly very embarrassing. Uh, okay, so... Uh, yeah, that was the last demon, wasn't it? That was the last demon. We're sorted. We're done. Right. Now what we need to do is we need to go and get all of our companions. Which means it would probably be a good idea to come out of the golem form. Because if we appear to our companions in golem form, it might freak them out a bit. <laughs> Uh, got the fade pedestal. And I mean, you can go into the inner sanctum without getting them all. I don't know what happens if you do that. I'm assuming it just means that, like, they're not there for the fight, so you have to do it on your own. That would have been a good 300 subscriber special, wouldn't it? Try to do that fight alone. Oh, there's an idea. Is that what happens? I need to know if that's what happens first. Uh, uh, do you know what? Actually, I might put a, I might put a permanent save in. Uh, what should we call it? What should we call it? What should we call it? Um, let's, put, let's call it three hundred sub. Save that because I'll need to I'll need to check and see. Make sure that like. You can actually do the fight solo if you don't go and get your companions. And assuming that is a thing that you could do, we could do that as the 300 subscriber special and have that as like the 300 subscriber special challenge video. We could do that, couldn't we? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. You're all so clever in the chat. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, we'll do that. We will we'll not do it right now. I'll record it separately as a separate video and then we can have a 300 subscriber special video. You see, genius. Absolute genius. Here's me saying, I can't think of a 300 subscriber special and now we've got one. Absolutely brilliant. This is why we do these live streams. Anyway, let's go and rescue this person. Uh... Uh, oh, we're back to Scooby-Doo, are we? <laughs> Love a bit of Scooby-Doo. I adore Scooby-Doo. Uh, I've watched most of them. I didn't like the ones that didn't have the full team in. Like, there was one that, ha that had Shaggy, Daphne, Scooby and Scrappy, I'm sure. Wasn't there? And, and it was really weird because just like... Velma and Fred just weren't there, but they were in the opening credits, and I think they were, were they in like the first episode, and then they disappeared off somewhere or something like that. It was just really weird that because I know there were ones where it was like just Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrappy, um, but then to just have Daphne there as well was just a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I don't like the ones where it's not the full team. But um, uh, yeah, um. I like most of Scooby-Doo. The originals are really good. I had a couple of the originals on VHS when I was a kid. Do you remember VHS? Those were the days, weren't they? Um, when I was a kid. And now I've got the whole lot on DVD. And I've got What's New Scooby-Doo all on DVD. Because those are my two favourites. And then, like, the more modern one that they did. I I watched that recently. I was at my... Uh, I was staying at my auntie's flat. And she doesn't live at her flat. Because she got married and she moved in with her husband. But she kept her flat as, like, you know, a second home I suppose um and we kind of just use it as a bolt hole and when I was in the process of moving back down to England from Scotland I was staying at her flat while I was like flat hunting and stuff but because she doesn't live there she doesn't have like wi-fi or anything um so there was nothing for me to do <laughs> except just watch telly and I just found myself watching the weirdest shit and I a lot of the time I was watching like because obviously I didn't have like Netflix or anything like that I had to watch stuff that was on the actual telly <laughs> and a lot of the time I would just switch to the kids um shows and like the uh the 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 more kind of I can't remember what it's called like the more modern one that they've brought out not the Velma one um I can't remember what it was called though but it was very weird. It was like much darker, but I quite enjoyed it. Um, but it was it was odd. But I like the way it's kind of evolved through the generations. Anyway, um, why am I talking about Scooby Doo? We need to go and talk to Alistair. Uh, hello, Alistair. Hey, it's great to see you again. I was just thinking about you. Isn't that a marvelous coincidence? This is my sister, Goldana. These are her children, and there's more about somewhere. <laughs> 
We're one big happy family at long last. Uh, this one makes more sense if you've already met Goldana, doesn't it? Because if you haven't already met Goldana in the game, like I know he knows that she's his sister, which of course she isn't actually, but you know, we don't know that yet. Um, <clears throat> but he wouldn't know what she looked like or anything, would she? Or that she has loads of children. I mean, like, <laughs> well, actually, I think he does know that she has children. But uh, yeah, it always bothers me if uh, if you haven't met Goldana yet when you do this bit. Uh, get away from them, Alistair. This is a trick. They're demons, you know. You seem very content. Yeah, they're demons, you know, Alistair. Oh, that's what everyone says about their relatives. But I've never been happier. I'm overjoyed to have my little brother back. I'll never let him out of my sight again. Okay. Also, it means that, like, when he then does reveal that he's got a sister and you, you act all surprised, like, oh my god, you have a sister? <laughs> it's like, yeah, Dora, you saw her in the fade. Um, may I borrow him for a second? We have business elsewhere. It's starting to get a little creepy. You live with your sister. Yeah, this is starting a bit creepy, Alistair. There's nothing wrong with living with my sister. I've never had a real family before. Well, Alistair... Is your friend staying for supper? Say you'll stay. Goldana's a great cook. Maybe she'll make her mince pie. You can, can't you? Of course, dear brother. Anything for you. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> I have to get you away from here, but things get worse. Yeah, I can't stay, you shouldn't either, Alistair. She's just a demon in disguise, don't believe any of this. Yeah, Dora's a very to-the-point kind of person, so let's say that. How can you say that about Goldana? She's... she's the soul of goodness. You're acting really strangely. No, I'm acting perfectly normally, Alistair. Um, I'm trying to save you, you stupid oaf. <laughs> yeah, let's say that, why not? Your odd behavior is brought on by hunger. Now come and have some pie. I promise you'll feel better. I don't know how to react to that, so I just won't. <laughs> it's the most Alistair thing ever. You should have punched me in the face after that, Alistair. Uh, wait here, I'll be back. I'll find some way to free you, Alistair. No, I'd rather not. Sometimes I just don't understand you. I'll be here then, if you ever want to visit. Oh, did we fail at that conversation? We fail at persuading him that, you know... Pie. I can't wait. Are you sure you won't stay for supper? I'm assuming we can still get him out of here, right? You don't fool me, demon. He's ours. Nothing you say will convince him otherwise. He sees only what we want him to see. Uh, why don't we just fight and get it over with? I suppose I'll have to get rid of you. Yeah, why don't we just fight? Dora likes fighting. I'm not so easily disposed of, Grey Ward. Really? Because all the other demons have been so far. Like, really easily disposed of. Like insanely easily disposed of. You're just you're just trying to punch me. You don't even have a weapon. Honestly, there we go. Down you go. Got a devouring skeleton over here. Alistair's just stood there like a complete numpty. <laughs> Doing nout. Uh, get this one down as well. Um. Archers somewhere. I thought I could hear archers. Yeah, they're really not doing much damage to me at all, are they? Actually, I should go into my burning man form and launch a nice fireball at them and get them down quicker. There we go. Knock me over as well, like, but yeah. <laughs> it's still, it looks cool, man. <clears throat> there we go. Alistair, love, have you woken up yet? Uh, the demon probably did something to your head. You're in the fade, which is neither like real world. I don't know, maybe I'm just not that intelligent. I feel like Dora and Alistair are going to have a bit of a love-hate kind of relationship. <laughs> like, I don't feel like it's going to be, you know, the smoothest uh, friendship in the world. Because that is just the kind of thing she would say. Yes, uh, well, try not to tell everyone how easily fooled I was. Are we going now? Wait, where are you going? What's happening to me? Hey! Go, go, go. Oh, and now we're... Are we stuck in a loop? Oh, we might be stuck in a loop. Yes. Oh, there we go. We managed to get out of the loop. Bloody hell. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought we were stuck in a time loop. <laughs> if 
like a secret extra quest where you have to get out of the time loop in Alistair's nightmare. <laughs> right, okay, so. Uh, put it here. Mm. Oh, this is the Morgan one. I like the Morgan one. Hello! Away, away with you. I shall have no more of your pestering. I am your mother. Do you not love me? You are as much my mother as my little finger right here is the Queen of Ferelden. I know you, fake spirit. You cannot fool me. Are you more clever than your own dear mother? Surely such pride must be punished. There. That is for not showing respect. That is far more like it. But it is too little, too late, spirit. Tis you at last. Come and rid me of this vexatious spirit. I weary of being prodded. Hey, you know it's a spirit. Why is she prodding you? All right, I'm coming. Yeah, all right, woman, I'm coming. Good, kill it, and then we can be off. Yeah, I think uh, Dora and Morrigan are kind of soulmates. I think. I think these two just like really get each other. Whereas with Alistair, it's going to be a little bit more rocky. Um. Uh. But I like playing a character who, like, gets on with Morrigan so easily because usually when you're playing a bit of a goody two-shoes and you sort of have to, like, yeah, you know, you, you become Morrigan's bestie because I always become Morrigan's bestie because she's amazing. Um, that was most... Wait, what is this? No, not this again. I refuse. <laughs> oh, bless her. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, you sort of have to be understanding of her flaws, whereas her and Dora, like, literally just click completely. Like, they're just... <laughs> Pretty much the same person. <laughs> Have the same views of the world. Uh, right. So, oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, oh, it's the fade portal, isn't it? <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, pedestal portal, whatever. Uh, head to this one, which should be win. Um. Okay, now, this is what I find interesting about this one, because the demon is trying to make us, like, not want to fight, right? It's trying, to, it's trying to make everybody sort of want to stay where they are. That's what it's trying to do. So, like, with um, the warden, it's all like, oh, the dark spawn are gone, and now we can just, you know, chillax. There's that bloody cat again. What?! I was mid flow there. I was gonna say really intellectual things, and you've you've interrupted me. <laughs> um, yeah. So the de the demon is. I mean, it's a sloth demon. It's trying to make you not want to fight. It's trying to make you just want to stay where you are, and like you know, suck your your um oh what's the word I'm looking for like resilience, you know. So with the majority of the character, in fact, with all of the characters. It makes them con content. You know, Alistair's got his family that he always wanted. Um, it, it sort of tries to make Morrigan content with our mother. It doesn't really work. Um, I can't remember what everybody else's is. <laughs> Liliana's like back at the Chantry, isn't she? With the revered mother and everything's wonderful. So it's, it's trying to make you feel content and everything. But with Wynne, rather than trying to make her feel content, it tries to like break her will. And I, I, I just think it's an interesting thing, sort of like, um, it, it says something interesting about her character because Wynne is not a content person, like she always wants to be moving, she's always looking for the next thing, you know, she doesn't just want to stay still, she's always looking for the next thing that needs doing. Um, so the, the demon can't make her content because she's just not a content person, she's always, you know, on the road, um, either literally or metaphorically. So instead, it just tries to break her will by making her think that, you know, the people that she was trying to protect are all dead and it's all her fault. And that's like, that's the tactic it has to use with her to make her not want to fight back. And it's just interesting. I just find like, it's just like says something about the psychology of the character. I, 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 I like, um, um, uh, yes, I like, uh, you know analyzing people like that what the hell is this cat doing i can hear it, it. <laughs> uh, i don't know where she is i think she's under be chair anyway uh right okay 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 what's all this don't believe it wins they're not dead yet the circle could still be saved 
Uh, yeah, what's all this? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Uh, I can see it, I just don't believe it. You're in the faith, this is a dream. Pull yourself together or this will be worse for all of us. Why was I spared? If not to help them, what use is my life? Now that I have failed in the task that was given me, leave me to my grief. Mourn their passing till I too am dead. Uh, it's getting rather morbid. You have to fight this feeling, whatever it is. I'm finding hard to find sympathy for demons. Yeah, it's getting rather morbid, love. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. Uh, to fall apart so easily just doesn't seem like you. Please think about what you're doing here and why they're not dead. This is a trick. Yeah, this is a trick. I do not know what you are trying to tell me. Why must you make where were you when this happened? I trusted you as an ally, and you were nowhere to be found. Oh, how I love. I mean, come on, Morrigan could see through it. Why can't you? Uh, I'm the only thing that's real. Ignore everything else. Can't you tell this is the fade? Aren't you a mage? Isn't it, uh, isn't that proof that something isn't right? Yeah, you're a mage, love. You should know that this is like the fade. The fade. I have not considered that. I have always had an affinity for the fade. Though something is stopping me from concentrating, I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> all that weeping was rather irritating. <laughs> oh, I have to say that I'm playing as Dora, but the whole point of playing as a character like this is to get to use the lines that you wouldn't normally use. Don't leave us, Win. We don't want to be alone. Stay away, foul creature. Hey, I told you this wasn't real. More demons to kill, it seems. You have to defeat them. To leave. Yeah, more demons to kill. Yay! Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No. No, not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit dark, Fred. Morrigan sees through the demon because she doesn't have any empathy for the form the demon took. Which sort of suggests she doesn't have any empathy for any form, really, otherwise it would have taken a different form. Which I suppose at this point she probably doesn't, really, because she doesn't know the rest of us very well. Um, right. Um... <laughs> dead Apprentice. <laughs> yes, let's fight the Dead Apprentice. The Dead Apprentice just healed herself. What a bitch. Uh, dirty fighting. Oh, heck, who's launching fireballs? Ah, you know what I need? I need the burning man if you're going to be playing dirty and launching fireballs at me. I will play dirty and launch fireballs at you. There we go. Get rid of one of them. And he's just slowly burning to death. There we go. I'll come out with the burning man form. Hello, wind, darling. Thank the maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? And she disappeared into dust. Okay, so. Uh, uh, fade pedestal. Right, we'll go and fight the big guy. And we've been going for like three hours. So uh, I was thinking we would get the fade and like the rest of it done today, but apparently not. I can do the fade in an hour normally, it, but it takes longer when I'm doing like the chat and stuff. So uh, yeah, we'll go and do the inner sanctum. And then we'll have to finish off the rest. Uh, next time, won't we? Uh, right, okie dokie. There's the guy. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take a very quick five minute break. Uh, very, very, very quick. I won't be long. Uh, need to check on these flipping cats.
Alright, I am back. Uh, uh, right. Sorry, that was a bit longer than I intended it to be. I've managed to get the cats in though. Getting them in on a night time is always a challenge because <laughs> they want to stay out. And I could probably manage if it was just one of them, but they're clever and they tag team and they're like, one will come in. <laughs> and then when I try and get the other one in, the first one runs back out again and it's like, for fuck's sake, I have to lure them in with treats. So when I get an opportunity to shut the door with them both in, I have to like, you know, take it. Anyway. <laughs> right. So, of course, that means they're probably going to cause more problems because they're in now. Um, go back to the game. Right. So. Resume. Right. Need to take on the big sloth demon. Hello, big sloth demon. What do we have here? A rebellious minion? An escaped slave? <laughs> my, my. But you do have some gall. But playtime is over. You all have to go back now. Oh, here I am. And there you are. Well, no matter. You made a dangerous enemy, demon, by toying with my mind. You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. Okay, I love the whole team spirit stuff kind of going on there. I was kind of like, we found each other. We're stronger together. All of that kind of stuff. Uh, I make my own happiness. I want to be free. I don't want anything you offer. Yeah, I don't want anything you offer. I made you happy and safe. I gave you peace. I did my best for you. And you say you want to leave. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I'm hurt. So very. Uh, sorry, but I'd rather just be rid of your evil right now. I'll take my chances. I'll do nothing you say. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. Oh, that was a good little, like, head nod that he did there. That was quite cool. Okay, so the Sloth Demon has several thumbs. <laughs> and there's one of them, and I cannot for the life of me remember which one it was, but it's quite, quite near the end. And the first thing it does is chain lightning, and that's usually what kills me. I usually do really well up until that point. So we need to be ready for that. Um, oh, it's just occurred to me, if I'm going to do the uh, the challenge, the 300 subscribers challenge, as Dora, that's going to be a freaking nightmare, because that chain lightning, you heavily, heavily rely on uh, the mages to help you particularly win with our group heal. Uh, right, okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into Golem Bomb! Golem! Bomb. Uh, especially since I've got no bloody health potions. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, it might, <laughs> might be quite a hard challenge. Right, okay. Boop. Um, oh, this is always a problem when I do this fight is that I've gone through the whole fade without any companions. And then suddenly I've got companions again and I have to remember not to do like area of effect things when they're in the area of effect. I always forget. And uh, Alistair just got rammed. That's not very nice. Uh, yeah, Alistair. Alistair's looking a bit ill, actually. Uh, Wind's gonna heal him up. That's nice. And just like, you know, try and punch this sloth demon. Need to remember I've now got other people helping me. I tell you what, we could do with a nice, like, cone of cold. As long as you... I was gonna say, as long as you don't hit anybody else. Of course you would fucking hit me, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm the most useful one of the lot of you right now. <laughs> I'm a golem. Uh, he's really going after Alistair hard there, isn't he? Bloody hell. Um, as long as Wayne keeps healing him up, it should be all right. Let's do a big slam. Slam. Uh, I mean, we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well, kind of. Um... Actually, yeah, you know what? We're a pretty good team. What with Morrigan freezing him and Win he keeping everybody healed. That's why I like to have two mages. I just feel like, you know, it's necessary to have two mages. So this is the uh, the rage demon part of the fight. Let's do go if we go into our spirit form. Spirit form! And then we can do Winter's Grass. 
which didn't work. And we can do Crushing Prison, which kind of worked. Um, and then if we go into Burning Man, so that none of your spells work against me, Rage Demon. Uh, yeah, he goes down pretty quick. Yeah, the trouble with this fight is it lures you into a false sense of security. And then you get to Chain Lightning Guy. I cannot remember which one that is. Um, yeah. And stab him in the back. Um, yeah, they all go down so easy. It just it lures you into a false sense of security, man. Morgan, you need to get your health up because you're going to need it soon. Um, let's go back into golem mode, actually. Uh, so, which way is it? Is it this way? It can't be this one. This is a, sh uh, a shade. Shades don't have shade lightning, do they? It must be the next one. And it's just, it's just awful. In fact, I'm going to switch to win, I think, to be ready to do the group heal. And she doesn't have enough magic. So take yourself a lyrium potion, my love. In fact, take two. Uh, treat yourself. Because <laughs> um, we're going to need that group heal. I really, really, really desperately. Alistair, I'm going to let you actually take a health potion as well. Uh, just to keep your health up a bit. Morrigan, if you do another drain life, I need everybody's health like as good as possible. Uh, we just get him down a bit quick, please, guys. Come on. We haven't got all day. We're in quite a good state at the minute. Um, come on, everybody. Come on. I don't want to use up too much of her magic because we need the group heal. There we go. It's going to be this one, isn't it? I think it's going to be... Yes, it's this one. And, okay. So, I need Morrigan to try and, like, freeze him before he does anything, but failing that, I need win on the friggin' group heal. Yeah, we're gonna need that group heal. But I don't want her to do it too soon. Ah, uh, um, um, okay, you do a stone fist nice and quick. She's done the group heal, she did it too soon, damn it! <laughs> damn it! Um, I'll tell you what, uh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, who's gonna be worse affected? Uh, do Alistair, heal Alistair. And then... Triple A's that could do it multiple times as well, which is really fucking annoying. Um, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Morrigan, 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 Morrigan. I don't know. I don't know. I've got so few health potions. Okay, I'm going to let Wynn take a health potion. And Morrigan, just look after yourself, all right? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, right, okay, 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 okay. We're doing all right, actually. I'm usually dead by now. Oh, fuck, he's doing it again. The fucking little fucking arsehole, little shitty buddy cunt bastard. I really don't like the sloth demon. Um, um, group heal hasn't come back yet. Okay, Morrigan, you do a life drain thing. Alistair, I don't know. I don't know. Try and overpower. I don't think it'll work. Um, we don't really have much that can, like, incapacitate him before he does whatever he's doing. He might, he might not be doing Chain Lightning, he might be doing something worse. Actually, does he not <coughs> Does he not do, like, an Inferno or something at one point? Or, like, an Ice Storm. I'm going to have to take a drink because my throat is dying. Okay. Yeah, I've got a feeling there's like a he does like a, a massive um like snowstorm or something, whatever it's called. Um Oh, this could actually be really bad. His, his health's really low though. So if we just try and keep everybody alive. Uh Yeah, there we go. He's done a bloody storm thing, which is really bad, but he's so close to being dead. Like literally just punch him in the face. There we go. <laughs> That was a good punch in the face, wasn't it? I never thought of I never expected you to free yourself. To free us both. When you return, I'll take the litany of a drama from my body. It will protect you from the worst of the blood magic. Uh, okay, yeah, what do you mean your body? I cannot go with you. I have been here far too long. For you it will have been an afternoon. Body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of the demon. 
Uh, okay, sorry if you can hear me cracking my knuckles. <laughs> Some people are very sensitive about that stuff. I don't like hearing cracking knuckles. Um, I'm used to being able to edit out the noises I'm making during cutscenes, but I can't, can I? Um, I don't have time to listen to you. I'm leaving. That's a bit harsh. Uh, you think you're going to die. What are you babbling about, Ni Nial? Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me. Using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. It is as simple as that. How cute does Dorabella look? <laughs> She looks very cute there, doesn't she? She almost looks quite angelic. Or you should just look enough at him like a little toddler. Uh, I should live quickly then. You're not dying. I could heal you. There must be something I can do. I'm sorry I could not rescue us earlier. Yeah, let's say that because, you know, she's while she's a bit blunt, she's not a complete lunatic. I do not fear what may come. They say we return to the maker in death. And that isn't such a terrible thing. My only regret is that I could not save the circle. But you... You can... Take the litany off my my body when you return. It is important. Uh, okay, yeah, I suppose I could manage that. I'm not a hero. Perhaps trying to be one was foolish. Uh, it was a nice try, but you should have left it to the experts. It's not true. You'd a lot to help the circle. Ordinary people can do great things when they have to. Um, I kind of like it. It was a nice try, but you should have left it to the experts. Before I was taken to the circle, my mother said I was meant for greatness. I would be more than my ancestors could have ever dreamed. I hope I haven't disappointed her. Uh, well, you did die in quite a unique manner, I suppose. That's one of my favourite lines. <laughs> it is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you. And goodbye, friend. Okay, bye bye, Nial. Okie dokie. So, the demon just fell over because we just killed it him. And yeah, we've done the fade. Done the fade. Nial's body, litany lit lit of a. Uh, yeah, yes, that person. Got level up. Do a quick level up. Uh, why am I putting it to strength? That's not what I need. Dexterity and cunning and... Should we get duelist started? We may as well. We'll get duelist started because I am a... I'm so terrible for like picking specialisations and then just never putting any points into them. <laughs> I'm really bad for that. Right, okay. So, that was the fade. We have done the fade. We have completed the fade. We've been going for over three hours, guys. And the internet held up that whole time. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, yeah, so we are going to call it a day here for now. Um, I shall leave you with this delightful view <laughs> of fleshy, bloody pods. Um, <laughs> uh, next live stream will be on Tuesday. However, I'm going to do it a bit earlier than normal because I'm on early shifts next week because, uh, like half of the early shift people are on holiday so there aren't enough people in in the morning so i'm in from four in the morning till 12 so i'll be getting home at like half 12 so i i thought we'll start the live stream at like half one um gmt um because obviously i'll be wanting to like go to bed earlier and stuff like that as well because i'll be having to get up at like half two in the morning um <laughs> which is not nice but it's, it's only for one week so it's not going to be like a permanent change um, and I don't actually know what I'm working on Saturday. I might be back to be a normal shift on Saturday. But Tuesday definitely is going to be like a couple of hours earlier than normal. Um, just because I don't want to be up too late. Um, uh, yes. Uh, and I shall, I shall leave you with this beautiful view <laughs> of all of this, you know, abomination-y, demon-y, corruption-y stuff. Um, yeah. And I shall... Uh, uh, I mean, you know what? I, I'd like to keep talking a little bit at the end because, you know, everybody wants to, like, say goodbye and stuff like that. Um, yes, I've realised that some of you might not be able to make the live stream if I do it earlier. But, you know, 
You can always watch it once it goes up. But uh, I know it's not the same. It's like it's like listening to a pre-recorded radio show, isn't it? It's like it's just one of those things you you, you want to watch it live. Like watching live streams not live doesn't feel right. But um, you know, I realise not everybody might be able to make it. Also, that Tuesdays aren't the most convenient days anyway. But uh, you know, <laughs> um, yes. So anyway, I shall there. Uh, tell you what, we'll go onto the pause screen. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And, uh, yeah. You just call me Mag? Oh, that's nice. I've got a little nickname. Oh, that's cute. So, yes, I shall see you all on Tuesday, people.